what can we expect today? Uh, well, I came here expecting, you know, if we can get within three, four, five goals um, with the team we had, we had two or three out um, from an Iron Bank perspective, Munn and uh, Schneider. But uh, yeah, I knew we'd, we'd be a, a contest, we're always hard at it, but um, yeah, to, to end up where we ended up, you know, we jumped out of the blocks, which was great, uh, ended up level at half time, and uh, yeah, I think uh, fell behind a little bit in the third quarter when they got a run on, and then uh, I think everyone was stunned with that last quarter, nine goals to three, it was just amazing. So, uh, yeah, from our perspective. So two sides we expect to perhaps be around at the business end of the season. Lockhorns here in round 10. Let's see it all unfolds here at Thunder Park. Yeah! All right, all in, uh, ready to stairs. The umpire, Michael Taylor, holds the ball aloft and we're underway here. Up they go, Vanderbird tapped to down. To Sherwood out to Muirden. Sherwood and Muirden drives them forward. Centre half forward here, a ball destroyed there. Johnny McDonald couldn't lose it. Coming through there, looked like uh, Vanderbird. Gets a quick hands out here to, to Tommy Watt Watton. Watton. And, and I tell you what, 14 seconds. And once again, off one point. So, so yeah, good build up there out the middle through uh, Shearwood to Muirden and then a quick kick forward and Tommy Watton got on the end of it. So so Craig Evans, designated kicker today, drives wide towards the Adam Morgan at wing, the cricket net side. Ball, ball bounces clear first to get there will be uh, Benny O'Donnell. And it's blocked That's off ball. there by uh, Will Vandenberg. Ball come back here, Raiders wing hard, Nicky Jansen in hard over the top. Ball scrambly there's pack forms. A little bit. Uh, and he's come up with the ball there. there. Just through the uh, netball court behind us. The whistle yep, is going to be a bit confusing with <laughs> yeah. the whistle. So Vanderberg up again. That ball locked up again in a uh, pretty uh, tight situation there. So the umpire today officiating is Brian Rule and Mickey Taylor. And umpire Rule on this occasion will ball it up. As we uh, just come out the first minute to play. Iron Bank on the board with a point. Bridgie yet to score. Ball comes out here. Bit of aerial ping pong there. Ball once again locked in a pack situation. And Hula like Adam Hula got it. yeah. Yep. Held to him. So uh, umpire rule once again into the action, earning his money early. Over on the forward pocket, tied up. Um, yep. And the Bridgewater player, once again, it's into a pack. I tell you what, they look like Ben Wardley there, uh, just slipping off there, uh, Robbie. Yeah. Trying to get a kick, and I think it was smothered, maybe got a jarred across the shin, so hopefully he runs that out because don't want to lose a play of his ability so early. Yeah. Iron Bank already struck with injuries, just the ball's held up. Looks like there's going to be a free, a free kick. kick to Will Muirden. Yes, Willie Muirden, who was a guest on the huddle uh, on Hills Radio a couple of weeks ago. Uh, quite an accomplished gridiron player as well, uh, Willie. Yeah. And a uh, very good gardener, they tell me. Yes. And he can play cricket too, so he's got many so multi he's got, a, he's got it all covered here, but uh, hopefully he's got the goal-kicking ability covered here as he lines up. He'll be uh, just on 38 metres out towards the where, the uh, goal at the uh, golf course end. I tell you what, that's a pretty good shot. And Rob. that's, uh, yep, first goal of the game. Goes so, to the skipper, so just Will a, Milden, so, so just over two minutes gone, and uh, as we said, a pretty good uh, Slight angle there, but a uh, good finish. And as you said, just what you need from the captain to set the example for the side. Yeah, so we'll go back into the ball back into the centre of the ground now for the uh, ball up between uh, who we got there. Yeah, we've got young Nick Vandenberg. Nick and Vandenberg will be up against that uh, Big Rollins. Big Rollins, and boy, is he big. And the ball's up in the air, and Vandenberg gets a tap and a quick kick, and it goes out to back into a pack again and a free kick. Vandenberg getting the free kick and it's a 50, it's a 50 metre. metre. And on this ground, it nearly put him in the goal square. So on this occasion, it's Will Vandenberg. As you said, brother Nick joined him for the first time this season. Uh, no, second game. Second he played game? the first one against Bridgie Two Pistols. So. Oh, OK. So in between. Yeah, in that's between. That's been the bookends. Yeah, the bookends. OK. And we've convinced him to come so, back. So... Uh, Will Vandenberg, haven't got him on there. Oh, three goals he's kicked this season so far, so he lines up for his fourth of the season. And once again towards the golf course end. Some 20 metres out, dead in front. And, and straight over like the umpire's as head. Should. So that's a good start to Iron Bank. Two goals on the board within three and a half, four minutes. So back to the centre we go. Good build up once again. Lucky to get the 50, but... That's it just shows you the value of discipline on the small ground. Um, as we said, it's tight confines and any yardage you give the opposition is just a criminal yeah. offence, really, yeah. if you're a coach. And you go straight down the middle on this ground, two pistols. So Tommy Schwartz up again. Oh, leaping high over the top there was uh, Vandenberg, as in uh, Nick. 
So the free kick will go back here. Quickly they play it on Schwartz. Gave it to Johnny McDonald. And turn gets it. Oh, fumbled there by Connor Healy. Set upon it. A great tackle there. By young uh, Crossy. By, yeah, Cross. And uh, should have been rewarded there. Johnny McDonald perhaps had pride. But uh, anyway, umpire Taylor. And a uh, little bit of lip here, apparently. From, uh, after right. they go, Vandenberg. And over went, the top. over the back. Buard. Buard under Shearwood. Over Shearwood. to Watton. Watton grabs the ball. Under and pressure there. Kick. Picked up. By Benny O'Donnell, he set upon him some fierce work here Tap. by the Iron Bank forwards, which you like to see playing a defensive role, keeping the ball in the area. Yeah, young tackler Ferry was uh, tackled there on J Mac, so yeah, good tackle to hold the ball in the area. So Vanderberg do battle Schwartz, Schwartz, both from players missed it. Bit of pushing, shoving. He's alleged that uh, well, Nick Vandenberg, and he'll try to emulate his brother's uh, performance here previously of kicking a goal. Race no time, drives it all. It's a bit of a mung sort of talk, but I tell you what, it's yeah. very effective, Robbie Sherwood. <laughs> oh, and the Vanderbilt that. boys are up and about here. Yeah, so the boys have come out, switched on in the first quarter here. So, uh, yeah, it's been hard at the ball, attack on the ball, and good tackling pressure in the forward line. So, we've, uh, yeah, we're back in the middle once again. So three and a half minutes gone to Thunder. As uh, Robert said, they've certainly uh, burst out of the blocks here. 3-1 to the Raiders. Actually haven't had the ball uh, into their forward 50 or forward whatever in this small ground. Yeah. So back in the centre, Vandenberg up early. They both went early. Ball comes down. Locked up at ground level. Vandenberg in there. Nick Vandenberg working hard. And umpire rule will come in and ball it up. And once again, Vandenberg gets the tap again. And Reese Van Paradon out to Shearwood. No, holding the ball. Actually, Joel Van Paradon on Joel, occasion. Yep, yep. Joel uh, Van Paradon. Connor Healy recently played his 100th senior game for the Raiders. Drives for their first forward entry, but they good use of the ball and reading the ball well. Michael there. O'Sullivan. Michael O'Sullivan, yeah. Like the look of him. Uh, good football, good junior football. Sturt decides to come across to the broadcast wing. Looking for Joel Van Paradon. Gave him a bit of a target. He's good enough to get the ball. Dribbles the ball on the ground. Big Rollins on oh, the ball. Follows up well. Yeah, good play by Joel Van Paradon. Got to the Willie uh, Muirden. He's yep. locked up in the tackle. He managed to get Throws. it clear. Young, Young Rosman. Rosman. Yeah, he was impressive last time out here against Nan. He's tried to sell a bit of candy to the experienced Craig Evans. But the ball over the boundary line right in front of the coaching box here. That was a good handball by Will Muirden to get it out in the open there. It just quite didn't sit right for Young Rosy. So Nick Vandenberg up against Schwartz. Schwartz wins it down. Joel Van Paren, a quick heads out to the coach. He, uh, Wendell Bonney was disposed. By the Connor Healy. Connor Healy drives it forward. Oh, good. Oh. Shepard off the ball by uh, Morgan, was it? Yes, and that's young Daniel Desengo in there. Dan- Daniel Desengo, good work by him. Yep. So ball locked up. An umpire rule will come in right in front of the broadcast point here. We've played five minutes. 3-1 a Thunderer. Callington Bridgewater Raiders yet to score. Ball ground level. Joel Van Perrin head over the ball, busting his way through. His Craig Evans experience here. Got it out to the run here of Josh Fielding. Calls the ball back into the half forward line area. One handed attempt there by uh, Maxie Wakefield. And it's called, pulled in there by Reese Van Paradon this time. And there's another ball up in the forward pocket for. Yeah, Willie Searle not giving much Raiders. room there. So maybe uh, he might have the job on Searle. But anyway. Ruck ball comes down, picked up by Junior Thomas. Benny Thomas, he's locked up in a good tackle, boy. The tackling on both sides has been pretty yeah. ferocious, Jeff, to start the game. Absolutely, as you expect. Well, it's a big game. Both these sides former Division One rivals. Ball and the ball comes, comes out to Jack Beard. It kicks down to the centre wing. Puts it and down. Uh, good mark taken by the veteran Hayden uh, Smith in uh, defence for the Raiders. So uh, Smith just waiting to see resets. Undecided. Still searching for options. And a uh, lovely sunny day out here at the moment. He's called to play on. Just and chips he goes it forward. he's short to... He's got the lead there. Uh, it was Reese George. Sorry. Um, yeah, and Will, Will Healy. Yep, and Will Van Paradon, uh, Will Vandenberg pushed him in the back. So free kick on the centre wing. So Will Healy. Will Healy drives towards centre half. A bit of body work before the ball. Oh, good, strong mark. Got his hands to it. It was Wakefield. Not paid. Oh. Bridgewater supporters not happy that in front of us. And, uh, yeah, he's unlucky not to get that one. Held it. And Maxie Wakefield in extremely yeah. good form. Kicked five goals in the... Uh, Representative win last week over Mally. And it's kicked 25 for the year. So ball up. Will Vandenberg and Rollins try to hack the ball forward. And Take toe poke through there by young Houlihan. Adam Houlihan to the top of the square. Grabbed by Searle. He just casually strolls out the back door and says, thank you very much, and puts through the Raiders' first goal. Yeah, the ball, came, the ball came out the back of the pack there, Jeff. And Searle just too strong for Michael O'Sullivan. Pushed him away from the ball. So, so rather fortuitous, there was a little toe poke there by Adam Houlihan, which moved the ball forward. And as you said, uh, Willie Searle, well, a bit of experience, as you would have seen uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah. He just was. knows where the goals is and got rid of his opponent and just turned and ever so easily strolled into goal. So first one on the board for Bridgewater Callington. They're one straight. 
That's uh, Ironbank, three goal one and uh, six and three quarter minutes gone here. First term, round 10 at football. Yeah, it's been a tight tussle so far. So the rucks are back in it in the middle. And this time Jumped Vandenberg up. got the tap, but it went to Bridgewater through Craig Evans and a long kick down forward. And Michael O'Sullivan takes the mark in the back pocket. He looks out to the outer wing, looking for Will Muirton, who takes the mark. He's got players leading up the ground, and he's gone towards the full forward in Benny Wadley, punched away, gone out to the Bridgewater player on the wing out there in... Wakefield. W- Wakefield. Wakefield. And w- Sorry, just Wakefield here. No, I think it was Willie Searle playing up the ground. It is Willie Searle. Just took that Sorry, mark, yep, yep. kick from half forward down to the forward pocket and out of bounds. Quite right. Drifting up the field, Willie Searle to Spear, so there'll be a throw in at the uh, the Wells Ackland Road end goals. As we said, Bridgewater pressing for their second goal. One goal straight to three goal one from the Thunder. It's good tap out there. Shearwood, Shearwood goes once again, to the handball cross. machine, gives it a cross. Cross drives along the Morgan outer side wing. Young Tommy Wadden and Benny O'Donnell. And Benny yeah. O'Donnell taking a juggling mark. Yeah, played the wing. And, uh, Representative last week, as we said, in the representative team, and he chips it forward, touched off the boot, so he handballs back to Jansen, comes back to O'Donnell. He's knocking up the stats already. And Puts it forward, but a good mark done by Willie Muirden. Turn gets across to Thomas. Thomas Shearwood to, to the ball Muirden, around here. Muirden back running to through. Shearwood, no, back to O'Sullivan. He drives the ball along, sitting the box forward. There's Lancaster. Oh, good work there by Iron. Back to get rid Elijah of Lancaster. Elijah Ware gets a quick kick forward and out towards young... Josh Rosman, who lost the ball. Ball comes out on the wing, out to Connor Healy, who kicks to the goal square. And Michael O'Sullivan takes Jack Beard, grabs the ball out to Wendelbourne in the pocket. And Wendelbourne goes short to Muirton in the middle of the ground. Half-back flank area by their captain. Gives the handball to the run of James Cross. Drives it to half-forward flank area. The top up high. Play on, says umpire Taylor. Sam Witt. Drives the Raiders out, attack out towards the Morgan wings. Tabes out the Rexy Jordan, takes a strong mark, bites onto his left foot, puts it into the lead of Willie Searle, and a good strong mark there by Searle in the air over the top of uh, O'Sullivan, yes. is it? Yes, and good precision, precision movement started by Sam Witt there. Got it out to a teammate and then found the uh, the lead of Willie Searle. So Willie Searle already won on the board, kicked seven at the last meeting in round one. He'd know his way uh, around this side. Was he tucked into the... Uh, into the pocket. Into the pocket here. As I said, the Wells, Ackland Hills Road end. Set sail. And it's just across the face as umpire Ajax. For a point. Axford for a point. So uh, Raiders 1-1. Yep. Trailing Iron Bank 3-1. Nine and a half minutes gone. 88.9 FM. Call of the Wild. And it was a good build up there by Bridgewater getting the ball there from centre half forward back in. But now wait for the kick out. Young junior Thomas kicks the ball out to the outer side wing. And Will Vandenberg gets it over to O'Sullivan to Watton in the centre. And a, 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 a raking kick, I suppose, to half-forward flank. And out to Elijah Ware. The ball's in amongst the pack. And you would think there'd be a ball up here, which there is. So Mickey Taylor, the umpire. So Will, well, so. we've been there attacking uh, forward 50 or forward 40. Let's forward 38, I think. 38 is, here yeah. at uh, Thunder Park. Up they go at the top. Uh, and Shearwood comes out with it. Handball to cross, or he tried to. The ball's run loose, and it's out on the wing now. And taken by Wakefield. Hacks it back towards the Morgan side wing. Pack settles over the off hands. First to get there is Jimmy Muirden. He's set upon. Yep. Jimmy Muirden for James Iron, Muirden. But... Didn't, uh, he didn't play last time we were out here against Nairn, I don't think. No, he's played the last couple of games and he's grabbed his opportunity. Okay, ball's out of the pack. Looks like Thomas moved it forward. Pack settles over the top. Big rollers, ball spilled here. Watton grabs Picked it. Picked up by Watton, grabs it, drives towards the top of the goal square. Bouncing here. Oh, oh Morgan. Morgan. Bit of courage there from yeah. Morgan. He's earned a free kick. Yeah, good courageous work by Chris Morgan, who actually coming off a, a bit of a it's collarbone injury. bit uh, strange Craig Evans yeah, did that. Straight <laughs> at the man. Straight was, at the uh, man. But, uh, well, he's in the way, I suppose. But now Chris Morgan with the opportunity to raise the fourth goal at the first quarter for Ironback towards the golf course end goals. It'd be uh, about 30, just on the 38-metre arc line. So opportunity here, just a slight angle, maybe 45 degrees. We're right behind him in the broadcast bus here. And they tell you what, he's uh, kicked it where he ran, Robert. Straight out of bounds it on the full. Might have got through. No, oh, it's out of bounds yet. on the full. Might have gone on the top of the post. So umpire says out on the full. So not the result they were looking for. No, there, yeah, that was a backman's kick. 
<laughs> Absolutely. So, no. Nah. We'll have to get uh, Wellesley to work on him. <laughs> He'll work on the whole team, Pistols, I think. So, so. waiting for uh, the ball to be brought back into play. Yeah, and once again, it was just, um, yeah, quick kick out to the side, try to find an open space. So the ball comes back into play, up, kick up the half-back flank. Ooh, big leap there. Big leap by Vandenberg. Nick Vandenberg, and the ball was punched out of bounds. Certainly look a lot better from the last time I saw them, Rob. They've got a bit more aerial ability. Young Daniel Wells did a great job, but Craig Jamar for Nan was such oh, a dominant force. Massive man, massive man, Jeff. So, so throw yeah. in, Rollins over the top, wins the ball down to Jansen. He's set upon there by, uh, look like, uh, uh, Tag Laferry, was it? Yep, yes. Young Tags. So uh, ball up results in the uh, cricket net forward pocket. Ironbank going towards the golf course in opening term here, round 10. Uh, Div 2 action, ball threading the way of the Raiders. And Tagler as far as, uh, Ball on the ground, there, scrambling for it. Pretty scrappy football there. Finally, Wakefield manages to break himself clear. Gets that towards O'Donnell and turn towards Fernet, who lays the tackle. Comes back here. Desengo. Desengo. He acts it on his left foot, only as far as the big Spider Man in Rollins. He gives it off to Nicky J. Nicky Jansen drives it back here. There's a big paddock here. Pagan's paddock first to get there. Be Will Muir. Not bounces no. off the cricket pitch in favour of our young Adam Hulahan on his left there. Sells a bit of candy, bit of shimmy work. Gets it to the runner Connor Healy's run through from defence. And on the run, this could be a good finish. No, no he's just, just offline. But they, uh, just shows you the capabilities of Bridgewater and allowed to find a bit of space here. Yeah, they um, once they get used to the, the size and, uh, and and the space or the non-space on the ground, Jeff, you just got to kick it sideways sometimes a little. But, but Junior Thomas to kick it you out know, again. And unfortunately, Will Muir that just land on the cricket. Yeah, it was a terrible bounce. Yeah, <laughs> B grade. B grade bounce. That's right. But Junior Thomas kicks the ball into the centre, and we've got Shearwood. No, Wendelborn has taken a mark, taken yeah. a mark, and he plays on quickly, and he's kicks it down to the half forward. Uh, silver to service Elijah delivery. Ware. Yeah, silver service delivery from the coach to Elijah Ware. Marks right in front of the uh, packed, uh, well, veranda area in front of the club rooms here, and because. A proven goal kicker. He's actually kicked 15 for the season so far. Had his injury problems, but uh, premiership player, of course, of the Chunga and also, uh, well, many moons ago. Oh, Central, Central Districts, District. yes. 2004, I reckon, pistols. Uh, so. Absolutely. So here he is, uh, 30, 40 metres out. Sets on its way. I think it's just going to yeah. fade at the last minute. Fade so away. Minus so it, score. Yeah, that's a good build-up, though, from half-back, bringing the ball once again out into the open space on the wing. So a two-goal ball game here is the Thunderers 3-2 lead. Uh, Bridgewater, Callington Raiders 1-2 and 14 and a half minutes gone. Raiders bring the ball out wide, leading the race for the ball there with Smith. And a good tackle by Watton and the ball's gone out of bounds. It's gone over the boundary line there. Yes. Over by the cricket nets. So we'll have a throw in. Looks like uh, the two big men, Rollins and Nick Vandenberg, to contest. Rollins over the top, the big reach, won the tap down. Into a pack situation, diving on there. Looked like it was uh, Josh Fielding. Yep, wrapped up in the tackle by young James Cross. So once again, the tackling from both teams in close has been fantastic. Beautiful day for football. Sun shining brightly here and a good crowd in the house as the ball comes yeah. out to the run of Connor Healy. Arches through the centre square, sends it wide towards oh, Willie Sell Searle territory. That perhaps a bit early as the ball went over the back and uh, bounces out of bounds. But uh, certainly danger man. Actually uh, looking forward to yeah. the battle here this afternoon. Willie Searle, one in Elijah Ware. Two very similar type players, Rob. Yep, and uh, Michael O'Sullivan's just looking at the sprig marks on his ribs. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, he is grimacing. He is, he's grimacing. Yeah. He felt that. Yeah. And I think Willie's hobbling a little bit too. But uh, good contest. Rucks are win. Ball one down there by Schwartz. Clearing kick by Mewen was smothered. Only goes as far as Hulahan. Quick hands yeah. out wide towards the run there. Will Fernhead. Fern head. Head tries to keep the ball in play, but uh, recently returned to the club from a short stint at Onkers. It certainly made a difference being their best players and uh, quite a nimble-footed uh, wingman, young Will, that's for sure. Yeah, it is effective on that side of the ground. So so the Morgan the wing side of the ground, more towards the half forward flank area. There's the throw in Schwartz and Vandenberg tussle for position. Ball down on the pack. Bodies in there hard. Fed out there by Wakefield. Quick kick by the Raiders, but it's a high, wide and unhandsome. And, and out yep. of bounds on the full. So Ironback will relieve the pressure as we come up 16-minute mark first quarter. That's the Thunderers in charge. 3-2 to 1-2. Round 10 action here on Hills 88.9 FM and also highlights on the uh, Hills footy flicks. And Tagler Ferry got the ball in the back pocket now out on the far side of the ground. Willie Sell standing the mark, I think. And Tagler Ferry goes short Ooh. to Simon Holm, who's wrapped up in a tackle and he dropped a chest mark. Oh, Coach Winterbourne's heart would, would have been his mouth with that. Like be going happy short with and, that. Uh, in the back uh, wides, uh, Cardinal sin, but they were lucky enough to get off temporarily as uh, Nick Vandenberg just fists the ball forward. 
his opposing ruckman and Schwartz led first to the ball, yeah. but uh, gathered there Good. by the Thunderers on the Morgan wing. Good handball out there to the run of Watton. Drives yeah. the ball forward, looking for the man. Went the ball with the coach. Was he in French? Yes, yes says pushing the bat. Yeah. So, um, and, uh, Bomber Lancaster just uh, pre- pleading his instance here, but uh, up by Taylor on the spot. So it'd be uh, Scott Wendelborn, the playing coach, the Thunderers. Or 15 goals on the board this season and the chance to bring up the four for the afternoon for his team. Cricket net pocket side kicking towards the bowling club end. Uh, sorry, That's the a nice kick in too, end. Jeff, and it's got distance on it. And I think Connor Healy's punched it through on the line. So good distance there, as I said, kicking towards the golf course end by Scott Winterbourne. So through for a minor score. So 3-3 three, three, Iron Bank play Bridgewater Raiders. One goal, two. Yep, Seven and a half we've had uh, eight, eight inside 50 entries to Iron Bank and four to the Raiders. Craig Evans tapped the ball to himself and brought it uh, out. But uh, he's kicked his it follow-up, he's kicked it close to the boundary line. In fact, it's a mark on the line or out of bounds. Well, either either way, way, it's taken here. For uh, Ironbank by Reese Van Paraden, right in front of the commentary position. He goes for short. Ch- it's smothered by Connor Healy. Oh, uh, well done, Jimmy Muirden. He got yep. him out of jail Lucky there. Lucky deflection and the ball put back there and camped under the ball and taking a good mark there was Liam, Liam Healy. Healy. So Liam Healy will go short to the, <laughs> to uh, Hayden Smith. Gives it back to Johnny McDonald, the running uh, Mile Millis. Comes back to him. Oh, I sent him a task as a didn't hit the uh, sound of boot laces and the, uh, he's lost possession of the ball. Comes out to Morgan. He's dispossessed as well. Good. And a good tackle on who? A good tackle on uh, Will Fernhead. By, was that number twenty-four? It might have been Joshy Chenda. Actually, the ball comes back out here towards Fielding, looking to get out of trouble. Gives it out to Connor Healy. He was going to play on, then decided perhaps not the best option. So he'll go back and put some length into his kick, which he does. Looking in Searle territory, Kurt behind, but getting back and taking a good, strong defensive mark is Daniel Desengo just released the pressure for the Thunderers, some twenty metres out from the. Uh, Acklands Hill, Wells end at goals. So he'll drive the ball short. And persisting a, in the short game, Einbank. Yeah, they? and a short kick just to get in the holes, Jeff. A short kick there to the coach. And then he'll bring it out, handball on the wing to the running Thomas. No, Benny Thomas. But he, he was under the pump when he yeah. got the ball. Uh, perhaps not the best option there. It's a uh, fighting hard was Tagler Ferry and the ball bundled right, right in front of our commentary position here yep. on the members' side wing here at Thunder Park. And they'd yeah. be happy the locals are leading 3-3 three, three to 1-2. Yeah, and it was a skill error there. It was just a, a handball that went to the feet, Jeff, and not to the hands. And, and once again, knocker. Vandenberg, yep, yeah, gets a Reece, free kick. Yeah, He's Reece a big Jordan, boy. Reese Jordan and Ruck gave away the free kick. It's a little bit of push and shove off the ball there. Yep. As the ball coming out, a run of Benny O'Donnell, the flying at Barman, drives it forward towards Searle Territory. Oh, well done this time by O'Sullivan. Yep. Still taking him front. He gets the boy out the back door to beard. support the beard. Fear the beard. Oh, a bit of a fumble there by Desingo, was it? Yes, yeah, uh, and a high he, tackle. He went to ground. He was pretty fortunate there because he did fumble the initial give. Yep. So, um... Free kick to be going by Daniel Desingo. So in right the back, back pocket. On the back pocket goes out to wide the wing area. Chips away and he's got Michael O'Sullivan taking the mark just Dist- about 15 metres distinctive, up the ground. Distinctive green boots. He chips it further field to Joel Van Paren and pass Mount Lofty Premiership player. Breaks towards the centre of the ground. He's got a lead here once again. Morgan. And well taken by Morgan. Quick hands out to Tagler. Fairy, fairy, a sweeping handball to Junior Thomas. He's run right down from defence. Here's a chance for the defender. Can he cover himself in glory? No, nah, it's Rob Shearwood, of course. He kicked it like a defender. And yeah. for a minor score. That was good play, though, coming from the back pocket. They brought it out to the far side of the ground. And now the kick in is marked. Oh, very at good mark. Half Tag- forward by Tagler Ferry. Very, very good. Very he quickly good go to Thomas and give him another. See how he goes with the set shot. And a 50 time, metre penalty. On he has uh, two. Connor Healy, he ran across the mark. Is it Connor Healy or... Uh... Yeah, Connor ran through the mark. It was just... Oh, uh... OK, well, he quickly moved the ball on then. Uh... Yeah, it was either Josh or Connor that ran through the mark. So yeah. the ball was going back to Tagler Ferry. So yes. uh, Benny Thomas hangs his head a little bit because he might get the opportunity to redeem himself. But Tagler Ferry might get the chance to uh, get the chockies here. So 20 metres out, straight in front of a little, just a stab kick at it and uh, results in major points. And that's what they were after, Ironbank. So their fourth goal on the board through the agency of Jared Tagler Ferry, and they move on to four four, leading uh, Bridgewater Raiders one two and twenty and a half minutes gone. Rob, first yeah, time. I'd say it's uh, nine inside fifties to five at this stage, and four centre clearances to Iron Bank to one. So uh, definitely um, Nick Vandenberg having a, a, an effect in the ruck. So once again, the ball thrown in the air, and. The boys go at it, and once again, it's Vandenberg that gets the tap. Comes out the back to Muirden, who then runs through the middle. 
A quick short chip kick comes to Fernhead. Jo- Fernhead gets to Shearwood to Tagler Ferry Ooh. out the side to Watton. Yeah. And nah, I think you'll find I'll go back, back because it was a throw. Yeah, it did look a bit of a crow throw to me. Yeah. Very quick hands, <laughs> very as they quick say. crow throw. So, uh, so but once bit, it, bit, once again, it's the quick hands of Iron Bank, Jeff, that rough. are yeah. opening it up. A bit rough. The umpire rule said they had time to stop after they'd taken possession, and uh, so uh, advanced is Sammy Witt to the centre of the square on the cricket pitch. He wastes no time, gets the handball to Craig Evans, ran him in the trouble. Witt gets ball back for him and Dale drives with a bit of a mung kick forward. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Great <laughs> mark taken there by Maxie Wakefield. And this man is in the uh, peak of form at the moment. Yeah, as it's we a said. nice one-handed grab. Yeah, a bit of a mung kick by Sammy Witt after he got the free kicking handball to Evans, who in turn ran in the strife, got back to Witt, and Witt's mung. End over end torp, if you know what I mean. Yep, a and, uh, just holding break. off his opponent, and then Maxi just held him off and grabbed the ball with the other hand. So now the chance to uh, cover himself in glory, and a great individual effort is capped off by a great goal to Maxi Wakefield. That's his uh, 26 for the season, as I said, best of field for the Hills rep team last week against the Mallee. So a good finish yep. there to the Raiders, and uh, we're in the shadows of half of quarter time. They'll be pretty happy to get their second on the board as it's uh, half the half the score, two two to Iron Bank, four four. And it's once again, it was a, uh, a a lucky kick in, but it was a great one-handed chest mark. So to Wakefield, okay, the ball's back in the middle of the ground, and the boys are ready to go it again. And we've got on this occasion, neither of the boys got the tap, and it was deemed yeah. for some reason to be a, a a throw. And we've got Jolly Van Paraden getting the ball, kicking it forward. Good work by Sam. Went to the back of the bus, built the ball forward. Morgan was in there once again. Cross gets was cross. it out. Yeah, cross flicks it out wide. Coming to meet it strongly. It looked like it'd be Craig Evans. He goes to ground, tackling uh, ground level. Pack over the middle. Looks like a state of origin, which is on this Wednesday night. Bit of push and shove there as the boys get up from the deck. But umpire rule says, come on, boys, play the ball. So up they go. Big tap out there by Vandenberg. Once again, a scrammy piece of play right in front of the scoreboard which reads 4-4 four, four to 2-2 two, two in favour of Einbeck trying to work the ball along the boundary O'Donnell's involved because the teammate there's Craig Evans this time breaks on that trusty left foot goes out wide in the Morgan side at wing pack flies comes to ground to Sengo in there Jansen in there as well and, and a like pack forms and there's going to be a ball Taylor up Taylor will come in and ball it up and that was just a, a good defensive action there by Einbeck just kept keeping the ball in tight uh, Ball wing. goes up. Morgan Wing over the top with Schwartz. And, and once again, caught Vandenberg. Behind. He's yep. in French Vandenberg. Over to w- uh, Will Muirden to Joel Van Paraden and a long kick top in. Top of the screen. Here's this tag. Lefer, I'll tell you, that's a great flying mark. The ball was actually going to see his body over his, well, behind his head yeah. virtually when he took it. Great mark. But great move. Vandenberg moved it quickly to Joel Van Paraden. Yep. It's just a long, he knew he had to put the spot. Tag, uh, tag Lefer there and took a very good diving mark over his head. So the chance here to kick his second goal, second consecutive goal. And he comes in and he's... He's got a very yep. precise kicking action He there. has. Just two Guides the ball down with two hands. Absolutely. And it's another goal to uh, Tags, as we call him. And it's now gone on five goal four. Iron Bank to 2-2 two, two Bridgewater. So consecutive goals here is 23 and a half minutes gone. And just, uh, well, they got that opening break. They kicked a couple of goals in the opening minutes. So Iron Bank, they've just been able to hold uh, any rally by Bridgewater at this stage. Mind you, it's always the first quarter, but it appears they'll go in. We're quite a comfortable lead at quarter time. 5-4 to 2-2 two, two back in the centre. Rollins won the ball down, trying to fight his way through there. Iron Bank getting the clearing ball was Adam Shearwood in turn. It's no, set it by Connor Healy. Healy. Connor Healy out to Craig Evans. He's drifted up, drifts the ball into the pocket. And Nicky Jantz, nice spilt what he should have taken there. And uh, manhandled. So that's Reese Van Paraden. Pulled out his... Looks uh, like chopped at his kick. arms, I think, Jeff. So um, the young fella's got a... Yeah, sorry, it's doing uh, Nathan Fitzgerald. Sorry. So he's got a shot on goal as the siren sounds. The blonde hair was catching me out. So, yes... Yeah. So, uh, kicking towards the, uh, the uh, uh, Akron Wells, Hill, Akron right? Hill, yeah, the Wells end at goals today. So, Nathan Fitzgerald represented Hills last week in the under-18, the Colts representative game. Sits on its way. Don't think and it's done it's enough. gone through to the left. The, through for the minor score. So, Bridgewater move along to 2-3. That'll be their quarter-time score. And Iron Bank are 5-4. So uh, a pretty good start. Just quickly, uh, Rob Shield, pretty good start for yeah. your bank. Yeah, it was um, more, I think, the tackling pressure, Jeff, you know, in the middle of the ground and, and their forwards just keeping him out and not not allowing Bridgewater to get the ball running from half back as they do. They're a really good side when they can get it to Healy and the likes. 
you know, and, and, and Craig Evans and the hula hands through the middle of the ground. It's just the tackling pressure that the Iron Bank boys as a whole have put on them. So it uh, been a really competitive uh, quarter. I'll tell, you, I, I tell you what's made a big difference is the advent into the uh, the fray of uh, Nick Vandenberg. We talked about well, last time. We said Daniel Wells. I think Munn was available. That's game against Nan when we called out here. Yeah, and just they just were lacking a little bit in the aerial strength, but certainly with the uh, the big fella back today. He's yep. certainly given that uh, that option, hasn't he? Yeah, he's a big boy, and you know it is straightens him up a bit and allows them to, um, you know, to at least compete and get try to get most times first use of the ball. So, yeah. And their midfield have got quick hands, and um, if we can do that and, and, and stay one step ahead, um, yeah, you're a good chance. So, All right. Well, as we said, quarter time. It's Iron Bank in charge. Five goal, four to two, a goal, three, just over a, uh, what's that, 19-point buffer in favour of the Thunderers. You're on Hills Radio 88.9 FM, round 10, Division 2 action from Thunder Park. And we'll be back with the second quarter shortly. What's Wadley done? Football opens back. That's what I was looking for. Okay. I was looking for the sting to bring us back. The football opener. <laughs> football opener. Oh, OK. So How does it scroll there. up, does it? No, I've got to go into all these categories, like songs, stings. So yep. I'm in the stings at the moment. So all the ads actually drop in automatically. Oh, OK. But for the uh, they bring us back. I've got to actually do it. Yeah. yeah. So, no, oh, we'll get in there. No, it's going all right, mate. This is the Hills Footy League match of the day. Yeah. Yes, you're back here at Thunder Park, round at ten. Hills Football League Division 2 action. Your quarter time score on back 5, 4 to 2, 3. Second quarter underway. Rollins up high. Got the ball down. Johnny McDonald strikes it straight away. Rams the ball forward for the Raiders. Going towards the golf course in this quarter. Ball tap 3 there. I'll break it through there with uh, Vanderberg as in Will. Gets a hand by another wall and Muirden in turn gets across to Wendeborn. Good, good grab in the left hand. Long hand by Eddie to take off. He was a live wire in the first quarter. He's wrapped up in a good tackle there by young Nathan Fitzgerald. Ball at ground level. Stack. Sacks on the mill. Also involved there was Hill hand. So uh, Raiders initial were uh, going forward, but uh, countering was iron back. But now Hill hand yep. the ball in the half back flank to drive the Raiders back into attack. Rob. Yep. And Wendell Vaughan's holding his wrist. Looks like he's done something to it. But yeah, Hill hand runs around the man on the mark, and now he kicks on his left foot. And it's a bit of a wan wandering mongrel punt, and Willie Searle gets on the end of it, and no one in the goal square. <laughs> and within a minute. Willie Sell's got his third goal, I, I think, of the day. So, uh, yeah, just a, uh, a kick down the middle of the ground there by Houlihan and a lucky bounce in a way, but Willie Sell's smart enough to, to grab the ball and, and kick around his body in a, a quick opening goal. Yeah, go on the first two minutes after resumption's just what you want. So uh, good effort there, good reply by the Thunderers. Uh, sorry by the Raiders. As we go around the ground, quarter time, Mount Barker 2-3 leading Onkers, one a goal, one important game over there at Howard Lane. Back in the centre here at Thunder Park. Yep. Rollins up with uh, Van Big Ball comes out, taken by Joel Van Parrot and drives the Thunderers forward towards the Wells, Acklands Hill end at goals. Race for the ball here, Tagler Ferry in front of uh, Fitzgerald and uh, Tagler Ferry, very... Uh, very influential up that forward line. Yeah, he's right? a little, he's a little live wire. So he's, um, he's had a good year so far. He's, he's um, kicked multiple goals, I think. So, um, yeah, he kicked seven in one game here. So yeah. So ruck throw in, well <coughs> by Rollins. He's locked up in a tackle by uh, Will Muirden. So uh, Vanderberg there just uh, checking the snods by the look of it. Yep, got hit. Got hit a nice one by the big fella. So, so Rollins and Vanderberg. This time, backhands over his head was uh, Vanderberg, Nick Vanderberg. Uh, going through hard with Sam Witt. He goes to ground, ball under him. Uh, perhaps dies with a bit of danger. Yep. Young Daniel Wells, because son of the king. So he'd be a prince, would he? Yes, young, uh, he'd Daniel. be the prince. He'd be the prince. <laughs> so up they fly. Rollins, ball comes down. Touch again. Tagler very old quick as he spun out with the quick hands out the back. But tamed by John McDonald. His kick is smothered. Comes out here to run of Will Fernand, the greyhound. It sets well towards the... Uh, Morgan side wing leading the race for the ball is the dangerous Max Wakefield. He's got a paddock on uh, beard, beard, I think it is. Yeah, and fears the beard, puts it forward towards fielding, but the ball's going to beat him out of bounds as it runs towards the scoreboard pocket. And the scoreboard reading 3-3. Three, three. Bridgewater Kellington, 5-4, Iron Bank, and two minutes gone second term. And once again, Bridgie getting the ball 
out to the far side into the open where they could run a bit. So Iron Bank need to watch that. The ball thrown in, and once again, who we got? That was Rollins, was uh, it? Schwartz. Now Schwartz. Got the, uh, he looks like the mummy. He's got oh, the, uh, he's got the, the head uh, he's got bandage, bandage on. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And the long kick into the goal the square, and Willie's. That oh. was Willie Sell. Yeah, great desperation now. Tell you what, by the Iron Bank defence there, because uh, it still looked like a certain goal. Good smell uh, there, and he's just having a little push and shove with uh, Nick, Nick Vandenberg. So right in the teeth of goal here. Chance for uh, the Raiders to get their second goal of the term. Bit of push and shove. Ball comes down there, locked up there. Once defense. again, I think it's Desengo who's yes, got his is. hands on it. Yep, so Daniel in the Desengo goal square, the, uh, right in the goal square. In the leggings. So uh, once again, similar place. Just uh, toe poke out from the goal line. Up they go. Over the top flying was Hulan trying to take the ball <laughs> with him. A heroic action there. I don't know what he's going to do when he got to the ground with it. <laughs> I'd be holding the ball, wouldn't it, when it you could, grab the ball out a, of it? Uh, the... Tell you what, look, so what's happened here? Is there a free kick? Or nah, man? they're going to throw it up Nanenberg again, Jeff. just protesting something. though. No, he wasn't happy. Big yeah, Nick. I think uh, Hulahan's knee got him in the head. <laughs> they're getting closer and closer to this goal line. In fact, that, point, that throw up by the goal on point, uh, the umpire And the ball comes out. The Shearwood quick hands out to Simon Holm. Ooh. Oh, and Will Vandenberg fell over at the crucial time. Big Rollins, a big kick, a kick into the dangerous top of the square area. And it comes out to Vandenberg, who gets his own kick. The ball's come to McDonald in the centre, gives it off to Craig Evans, and he's on his left foot, and he'll have a long, long shot for goal. Oh, take it oh. by Rexy Jordan, shugs a bump, hands the ball back to the young Fitzgerald, I think And he's swamped. He's swamped. Sorry, Nicky Jansen. Get the blondes mixed up. <laughs> yeah. And he's taking the ground. But, Dag, just shows you the benefit of going long on this ground. We saw it earlier with Ironback with some of the transition. On that occasion, McDonald combining with Evans and the two left footers and long to the top of the square. And Reese uh, Jordan wing pretty hard up. They go, Hill Hand once again, third man up. Ball comes clear, hit a run of fielding. He's trying to control it. Who's that? Shock it off the ground there. I think, I think that might is. Might have been Willie Hul- Searle again. Or is it Hulahan? I think he's running back, getting all the low fives. So I think Adam Hulahan, who's always. Uh, Got the uh, ability to create something out of nothing, and I think he did on that occasion with a good read off the pack and uh, toe poked it through. So Adam Houlihan yep. raising the second goal of the term in favour of Bridgewater. So they're just closing the gap here. They move along to four, three, to five, four, four and a half minutes gone. Second term here. Yeah, and they've dominated the inside fifties this quarter. So we're uh, kicking down to the golf course end as the ball goes up again. Rollins against Vandenberg comes off Vandenberg's head. Out to Will Muirden. A quick kick forward. Good tackle by Daniel Wells. Gets it again. And a high tackle at centre half forward. Called on Chris Morgan for Iron Bank. So he'll go back and have a direct shot on goal. So Chris Morgan, as I said, uh, missed the last game. I think the last time we're out here, he was injured early in the game against Nairn with a bit of a shoulder complaint. But uh, back in action this week. And a chance here to raise... First goal for the Iron Bank Football Club in the second term, kicking towards the Wells Acklands Hill Road. In I tell you what, was he a usual defender because he, he kicked that? It was a sort of a real mongrel barry to barrel that effort. Yep, he's a backman. <laughs> that was from 20 metres out, I reckon, Jeff. So, yeah, uh, so I uh, never looked like getting there, unfortunately, Robbie. So uh, Benny O'Donnell, the uh, bouncing barman from the Bridgewater Inn, will relieve the pressure right in the back pocket area for the Raiders. So O'Donnell studying what's on option. Pretty well was zoned up here. Decides to go long towards the wing flank area. Big fly from behind was Hulham, but in front holding his ground was the on back skipper and Muirden looking to handball, but then decides he'll go back and drive it back from whence it came. No, oh. he tried a little short pass. It's smothered by Hulham. Hulham's yeah. first to get the crumbs. He's in turn is tackled again by Muirden, taking the ground. Reese Jordan has got support there from Will Fernand. He threads his way through, gets it back here to Nicky J. Jansen drives it long towards the flank area. And I'll tell you what, Will Sell, Sell. Oh, oh, in his own and... Uh, well, Searle, no one on the mark, decides to turn and wheels, and he's got a man in the goal oh, square. And he's just kicked it over far. his head too far. Yes, he was looking for Maxie Wakefield. Was I he thought, looking for Maxie Wakefield? I thought he might have been going, going for the goal Because it yeah. was an open goal square, but either no. way, it uh, didn't get the desired result. Yeah. So, more in a score. So, one straight kick the difference. 4-4 to Raiders. 5-4 Iron Bank And the ball club. out on the back, uh, half-back flank. James Cross has it, kicking it up to the wing. Uh, oh, great no, pick-up. Wendell Born. Yeah. yeah, great. Back to Cross. Back to O'Sullivan. Thomas. Benny Thomas, centre half forward for Iron Bank. Comes out to Will Vandenberg, loose, and it comes up in the forward pocket to Ben Wadley. Oh. Oh, who's just looked like he's done something. I said he got a knock on that uh, shin or ankle early in the piece in the first quarter in a pack situation, whether he just, uh, just jarred it once again, but he'd be. 
some 35 metres out on a 45 degree angle. We're looking right over his shoulder here as he aims towards the, uh, the big sticks at the well's end of the uh, ground. That's Ackland's Hill Road end. So um, coming in now, so lining up for goal, he'd be 30, 35 so metres Rodley's out. Rodley's kicked four goals for the season so far, Rob, so uh, he does sort of know where they are. And, and that's I tell you what, he sort of has shine as he does. That's a great finish by Benny Wadley. He's first of the afternoon, but more importantly, just stretches uh, the lead back out again to two goals. To two goals. So, yep. So it was a um, a solid build-up uh, coming through centre-half forward. And then once again uh, on Thunder Park, the ball came out wide. So into yep. the pocket. Uh, certainly always entertaining here at Ironbeck. The short confines is about a very good finish. He looked a little bit... Uh, a little bit gingery as he got up, but he certainly, uh, when he saw he's got a chance of kicking it, amazing. Always, how he improves always, he'd be always. feeling 100% now. <laughs> as you said, 6 4 to 4 4 in favour of the Thunder. back in the centre will be uh, Nick Vandenberg up against big Nathan Rollins. Set themselves Rollins with Rollins the superior. With like, great chat down to Johnny McDonald. Gives the old don't argue to Joel Van Perrin and gets across to his partner in crime in Evans, who drives the ball forward. And a good mark taken by Rudy Rex Jordan. Slips catch there as he takes the ball. And he'd be some 45 metres out from the golf course and a goal. And Willie Searle calling for it in the goal square. O'Sullivan and uh, Vandenberg getting back there. Certainly uh, a lot fitter this year. Reese Jordan has taken the challenge to play at uh, senior level. Of course, a product of the Callington Football Club, the older uh, Eagles. So it's good to see that in uh, the Bridgewater Callington uh, amalgamation now. So gets a bit close to the man on the mark, but gives it a big it's a oik. Nice I tell you, it's a nice one. It's coming back nicely, but not enough through for a minor school, but certainly showed he can kick the distance as it pulls it back to 11 points now. 4-5 to 6-4 at the 8-minute mark. Second term, Hills 88.9 FM call the world, and trust you're also enjoying the highlights on Hills footy flicks. And Wendell Bourne kicks the ball out into the centre of the ground, and Vandenberg, and once again, Will Mildon gets it to Desengo. He's a quick kick forward and looking for Morgan, who was once again pushed in the or a high tackle. Yeah, high tackle against Lancaster. Oh, Jeff, that was a bit tough. So it was yeah, the, well, the crowd obviously, get vibes. Obviously, the as you can hear the bridge water crowd right next to us, they weren't uh, particularly happy with it. But, yeah, uh, so, well, the, he's playing in front. So once again, Chris Morgan to have uh, his third shot on goal, I reckon. Let's see if he can. Um, first one went for a point. The second one went out of bounds on the full. And he's about the same distance out, 20 metres. Johnny Mack on the mark. Well, no, Lancaster's on the mark. And Chris Morgan stabs at the ball. And That's it. This is a better kick than his last effort, uh, Robbie Shearwood. Yep, straight over Ajax's head. and That's uh, always a good sign. Through for a goal. And that's uh, Iron Bank's seventh goal. So they just go out to that three-goal margin again. Uh, seven goal, four to four goal, five. I guess if you put your body in the position your uh, opportunity to win a 50 53 kick free kick and that's what young morgan did and then they uh, finished better than as i said his last attempt which missed everything with a bit of a mung talk but that was a uh, yep. a very good kick that time so iron bank just a little bit of a after uh, the first two goals of this quarter were kicked by the raiders they've sort of answered very nice with two of their own so they lead seven four to four five back in the center and we've so got Van Den- vandenberg and rollins there waiting and uh, umpire mickey taylor just about to get the ball from so Jason Woolley. Tag the Ferry and Joel Van Parrot and also in there for the Thunderers. And, and Jets, uh, sorry, uh, James Cross is there Jensen as well. And, uh, John, uh, Shane, John McDonald. Ball comes down, ducking his head with his hand. Ball comes free. Nicky Jets in typical fashion. Head on heels over the ball. He wins a free kick right next to the cricket pitch area. In fact, the man on the mark is standing right in the centre circle. So Jansen, high kick towards the half-forward flank area. Big leap there by uh, Searle too early. Yeah, ball comes I, to the ground, taken there by O'Sullivan. He's dispossessing a good tackle. And a throw called by umpire Taylor. So good pressure there by uh, Willie, Willie Searle. Searle. And he'll be going for his fourth goal today, I think, Jeff. No, nah, third. Third on this three. one. Only the three, yeah. Only the three. Uh, so he's kicking from about 15 metres out right in front. He's kicked two of their four so far, yes. Had a couple of other opportunities. So Willie Searle, as we said, knows his way around this ground. Came into the ground uh, game with 34 goals. Already kicked two, so 36 for the season so far. Deliberate shot and straight to the high diddle diddle that one. So the Raiders just pull another one back. They move the five five to seven four and good pressure there. Once again, both sides at the forwards displaying good pressure when they lose possession of the ball. Yeah, they put pressure on their respective defences to hold it in. Yep, and once again, probably didn't give the instinctive handball off. And yep, when he when O'Sullivan did 
go to give it, it was just a tad too late. But good tackling. Great tackle, Willie Sill. So great conditions here, Rob, as we always oh. expect out at Thunder Park. It's yeah, and a good crowd's rolled in good now. Crowd, so, a bit of a local uh, derby, isn't it? Like, yeah, it oh, is. First time we've uh, played each, yeah. here. We've played here for all, oh, I don't know. Since before. 2014. Yes. So and actually, up. the uh, Raiders have won the last three contests of that, uh, last two of that year, and of course the one this year. So yep. looking down the barrel, four losses in a row, but Iron Bank doing pretty well here at the moment. 7 4 to 5 5. They have the leaders, the ball right, and the Raiders goal area once again quick transition from the center and it's um, locked up there yep evans with his trusty left foot in the middle of the ground long kick to the top of the square so, so dangerous times again for the iron bank defense it's the bandaged swartz over the top swats the ball out to john mcdonald tries to curl off that famous left foot oh bouncing bouncing gathering the pull there close to the boundary line was will healy but he's uh pushed over the boundary line right in front of the scoreboard as I said, reading Iron Bank 7 to 4 to 5, 5, 10 minutes gone, second term. Hills Court of the Wild on 88.9 FM. Trust you enjoying it live or uh, streaming it. Okay, the ball's come in and it's Houlihan over the top. Vandenberg grabs it and we've got Reese Jordan, I think that was, caught holding the ball and the ball goes out to Cross, who kicks up towards the wing. We've got Sammy Wick going for it, Elijah Wears there. And they're battling for it on the ground. Oh, and too high when they're both yeah, on the ground. It's yeah, it's Elijah Ware. He, oh, okay, a high tackle. Will, yeah. Iron Bank will take that one. They kick the ball back into the middle of the ground. A dangerous kick and it, oh, almost cut off there by the Bridgewater player. Wendelbourne has the ball, kicks oh. it out to Shearwood in the forward pocket, who stabs at the ball and. Fitzgerald in the last line, threads the ball out through the agency of Witt, gets it back to Fitzgerald, drives it wide along the Morgan outside wing, out there and finds a fern hitter, sorry, Healy. Healy breaks on over the uh, assistance over of Craig the teammate, Evans. Craig Evans, that long raking left foot. This one's a bit of a, bit of a mung, no, but uh, favourable as it bounces in the direction oh. of Sewell. He's well taken at that time by a Marley, but it's Sullivan, but I tell you what, he's good enough to get the boot to ball and take us through that one, Rob. Oh, that's just amazing. Yeah. Some good run started by yeah, Fitzgerald. Out, and, out, and they kicked it out to the wing, and I think it was young Liam Healy yeah, Liam got Healy, it out yep. on the wing, and they kicked it in. There was a contested ball at centre-half forward. The ball came through two or three players. Willie Sill laid a tackle, and then the ball fell loose, and he just grabbed it and kicked it bouncing style from about 25 metres. Like all good spearheads, you know, have a great goal yeah. sense, and that was certainly one of them, because <laughs> an open goal square and just yep. fortuitously bounced through. So and that was his fourth goal of the day. That's right. You'll take him now, 6-5 Raiders, 7-4. So the margin back to, uh, what's that, five points. Ball back in the centre. Vandenberg won the tap down in the direction of Joel Van Perrin and feeds a handball out to Coach Wendelborn in turn, gives it to Adam Shearwood. Will he kick this one, Rob? No, he decides the handball to his skipper in Muirden, has the shot. This is a great reply. Yep. We're in about, uh, well, 15 seconds, such is the nature of this uh, yep. ground. And they went straight down the middle on that occasion. They were lucky to get the ball out of the centre. A good knock by, uh, I think it was Nick Vandenberg, happened yep. to tap it into the into the vacant spaces and Jolly Van Paradon got a handball out to Shearwood who handballed onto the skipper and he kicked a nice goal. So and that was uh, good Wendel running play. And Wendelbourne involved well. So all the big uh, guns for Ironback getting involved in that passage of play and uh, just stretches that lead back out again to 11 points. 8-4 to 6-5. 11, uh, 12 minutes gone. In a very interesting game of Div 2 football here. Back in the centre, yeah. Rollins, the superior reach, got it down to Wakefield in turn, got it to... Jay Team Mack. Matt, uh, Johnny McDonald, yes, yep. and he uh, just back from an overseas venture yeah, during the tackle. off season. So Johnny McDonald, uh, past <laughs> male medalist, son of another past male medalist, and Shane drives it long towards the forward area, cricket po cricket uh, net pocket, ball off hands, and uh, Sullivan can't get there in time and out yeah. of bounds. By and that the was year. a good uh, a good a good fist there by Desingo in a contested situation. So the ball's gone out of bounds in front of the scoreboard. So Bridgewater resetting here. Can they get another goal here and make this push? Iron Bank uh, just challenged them. Uh, probably came in the game as a favourite, uh, the Raiders, but certainly the Thunder is taking up to them at this stage of the game. Ball flicked out here, leading the race for the ball. Was, was uh, Sullivan? Sullivan, yeah. Pokes it forward, but playing in front and taking the mark is Sam Witt, who might have had some uh, games here at Iron Bank yes, as a junior. Yes, as a junior, young Sammy, and he puts, went back to Bridgie. I puts think. it back in, and there's a good, strong mark taken by Nick Vandenberg, and such a big asset here today. Puts it back and uh, Fitzgerald off hands gets out the back door to Chender. Chender drives it wide to a teammate there. Craig, uh, and, uh, Connor, Connor Healy. Healy gives it to Craig Evans, caught in that left foot, puts straightens it up towards the corridor over the back, and there's a chance lurking with Sill. Got past him this time. Gathered by Hulhan, tries to sell a bit of shimmy, goes inboard the fielding, grabs the ball, 
Snaps it on the boot, and I tell you what, he's also dangerous around the goals. Josh Fielding, as he brings up his first for the day, but 12th for the season. So another good reply there to the Raiders and some very entertaining end end football here, Yeah, Rob. the game's opening up a bit, Jeff. So uh, both sides starting to move the ball around, and uh, the, the, ones, the team that makes the skill error, the other team are capitalising on it. So it was good, good play there by Bridgewater, get the ball out in the open. And once again, young Adam Houlihan gathering the ball and always creative, always looking to do something himself. If he can't get in position himself, as he did then, he found the sweeping handball to found Fielding, who just snapped over his shoulder accurately to uh, give the Raiders and uh, change it back to five points. Seven, five, Bridgewater trailing uh, Ironbank, eight, four, back in the centre. Umpire rule puts it up, Vandenberg against the bandage. One in Schwartz, ball comes down, locked up there. Oh, it's oh, take, by, taken out of the tackle by Maxie Wakefield. Straightens up, but decides to go to the lead. Here's Searle right in front of the scoreboard. And that's precision delivery and good work in the centre by Wakefield. Searle opts to play on rather quickly. Perhaps could have done a bit better yeah, there. Yeah, he could have gone back that's, and had a set shot there, Jeff. But he chose to run around on the markers. So three for a minor score, unfortunately. Come back to four-point ball game now. Eight, four to seven, six. So Ben Junior Thomas to bring the ball back in from the golf course and goals. Coming at the 14 minutes, gone decides to come right down the centre. Big pack forms. Oh, Benny O'Donnell could have taken the mark, but he throws the sport to the ground. Off hands there taken by Young Cross. He's dispossessed. Got it out to Simon Holm. We haven't seen a lot of him this afternoon yet. Ball out in the Morgan side wing. Wadley seems the ankle's all right as he ran down his yep. bridge order opponent there pretty well. And did well to hold the ball in in the end. Where there's three or four bridgey players around if the ball had got loose. I think they would have been off and running again. Yep, okay, sir. the ball thrown up and the tap. Who didn't see who got the tap on that one, and it's just straight into a. I think diving at the top it was uh, young Nicky Jansen, as uh, usual. Yeah. Uh, once again, it'll be Schwartz wearing the. Uh, or he must have the sore tooth. He's got the bandage around the, uh, the jaw and the head. <laughs> and Vandenberg throws him away like he's a rag doll to Shearwood over to Wendelborn. Quick hands and a kick into the forward ah, pocket. Good work. And yeah. good defensive work well, by... Bob Lancaster there, the uh, vice captain of last week's representative Hillside. Plenty of experience there. And he just uh, punches the, the ball. ball away from Chris Morgan. Out of bounds. So, uh, throw in in the right forward pocket going towards the Wells, Ackland Hills Road and goals. Ironbank has... Uh, Opportunity here to uh, just extend that margin. I lead by four points at the moment. Seven, six to eight, four is the uh, perhaps a koala style on the ball here. Yeah, could it? No, here it comes. Here someone's, it comes. someone's retrieved it. And, yep. But a, a brilliant day for football here at the moment. Yeah, it's a lovely day. Right. Probably 15, 16 Throwing degrees. Schwartz, the bandage Schwartz won it down. Ball trying to fit out in oh, McDonald. Oh, got great to, tackle. toe poker forward. Young Rosman. Rosman goes to the ground down. and the tackle. Hand gets the ball out. Here to a teammate taken here Will by Vandenberg. Vandenberg gets over it. to Muirden. Muirden handballs backward looking for home. Gone too far for him. Going no. by the Raiders there by Fielding. Gives it to Healy and turn. Gets it back here to the run of Chenda. He's got Searle on the lead. Straightens the ball up. Searle with a big leap. Good attention there from O'Sullivan. Sullivan. Ball comes out here once again to Healy. Has a shot at the goals. I tell you what, great work there by Liam Healy. Yes, good team play. Really good team play. And, uh, yeah, Iron Bank, really valiant. O'Sullivan chasing. Willie Searle once again, the key target. And, uh, yeah, quick hands. Got the ball in the open. And, um, yeah. So, I, uh, Bridgewater have hit the front. Eight goals, six. First time today. Absolutely, uh, yep. Two points ahead of Iron Bank. Uh, eight goals, four. It's a two-point ball game coming at the 16-minute mark, 8-6 eight, to 8-4 eight, here on the Woodside Irrigation uh, scoreboard. So umpire rule will set the ball back in the centre. Vandenberg been rucked all day through Schwartz. Schwartz. Double hands it down to Wakefield. Wakefield, Wakefield quick hands, hands out. out here to Evans. Didn't get that far. Taken here by Mewden. Got his kick away quietly. Got to the Benny O'Donnell. He's wrapped up, managed to get a handball away to Chenda. He's dispossessed there. Ball comes out here. Good pressure up from uh, both Bader. sides. Yeah, great pressure. Simon Holm, he handballs back to a Raider tart. Coming there is Nicky Jansen, as you expect. On all fours, bulking his way through. And umpire rule comes through. Some great pressure here. As this game very much up for grabs at the moment. Two-point ball game, Robbie. Yep, and she's tightened right up. And we've got Vandenberg against Schwartz in the ruck. And Vandenberg gets a hit. Sammy Wick, quick hands out the back. To Chenda and Chenda, big kick the centre half forward. Beard at the back, gets a handball out, to the loose ball to Holm, running through the centre, and he oh, is duck great the tackle. Nick Jansen, oh, he's called for a high tackle. Yeah, he ducked the chutney there. Yeah, he was a bit fly. lucky. So from uh, just backward of centre, we got Holm who will send a kick out wide, looking for Morgan. 
Oh, he, Morgan under side the there. Ball, the quick hand ball. Quick hands there to Junior, Junior Thomas. Thomas. Can he bring up the defenders? Uh, I yes, think he's he done it. That's good attacking he's, play. Good running play. So once again, Jeff, it was a team that got the ball loose out of the contested possession. Uh, quick handball to the side and long running shot for goal by Junior Thomas. So put Iron Bank back in front, 9-4 to 8-6. So good game of footy here. And we're at the 12-minute mark. Sorry, 17. 17 the minute mark. The dial were obscured in the bright sunlight. Yeah, 17, just over 17 minutes gone. So it's Rob Shewitt said four-point margin, 9-4 to 8-6. Back in favour of the Raiders. Up to go. Vanderberg up uncontested. Won the ball down, but it comes down to a pack situation. But umpire Taylor has ruled as an infringement there to the head of Nicky Jansen at ground level. So Jansen right in the centre of the ground and centre circle. Oh, it's a mung wobbly kick and taken by Desengo. So what to play on then? But yes. uh, umpire Taylor right in the spot, perhaps giving the benefit of the doubt. So to relieve the pressure for the Thunderers, Daniel Desengo. He's got a loose man out here. And Will Vanderberg, it's going to be cut oh, off nearly by Healy. Looked. Couldn't quite get there. Taken by Vanderberg. In turn, puts the centre half forward. But uh, Joel Van Perrin and stretches on a juggler mark. No, not paid. Comes to Wakefield. Handballs out to a teammate there in Chandler. Meantime, gets out the run of Witt. Witt gives it out to young Fitzgerald under the pressure. Well played there by uh, Thunderers. As they check the ball forward, taken here by Adam Shearer, taking a mark some 35 metres out. Can kick him from there, I know that. But, um, Won't kick him from looking, there. <laughs> looking to put it up. Oh, he's their leading goal kick at the moment with 20. He decides to give it off here to Elijah Weir. Who kicks it. has gone right across the face of goals. Almost out of bounds on yeah, the Yeah, it was helped on its way side. by uh, Michael Lancaster. But uh, yep. Adam Shearwood, has he got bad hamstrings? Uh, yeah, I don't know, mate. He's handball happy anyway. Mm, you think uh, his proven goal kicking a bit, he might have had a shot. But anyway, it's out of bounds. But uh, Iron Bank holding lead 9-4 to 8-6. Yeah, and an opportunity. Uh, Vandenberg and uh, Rollins back in it there. And the ball once again brought down to the ground. And contested footy. And who's under it? We've got Tagler Ferry and I think Houlihan, is it? For for Bridgie and the ball up again. And then we've got Roland Wendelborn over the top. We've got Van... Comes out the back to Morgan. Oh, I tell you what, Chris Morgan, Morgan that <laughs> is a party trick of the oh, highest yes. quality standard. That is uh, <laughs> AFL like oh, there by Chrissy Morgan. Just, just grabbed a contested it. ball, and once again, lucky bounce out, and he's just kicked it out, grabbed, grabbed it, and kicked it over his head. We won't say it was a kick in hope, Rob, because we want to give him some uh, credits <laughs> uh, for some great, a great finish. His second goal of the quarter, Chris Morgan. So certainly uh, the. Uh, former defender stamping and he wants to play up forward. Yeah. A great snap there by Chris Morgan. So Ironback just stretched out to 10 points now. 10-4 to 8-6. It's a seesawing entertaining game and we've got Rollins in back in the ruck again. He's taken back over from Schwartz and we've still got uh, Nick Vandenberg in there for Ironback. So the ball thrown in the air and Vandenberg gets a one-handed, left-handed tap and who is it? Yeah, Houlihan coming through the middle, grabs a quick outside handball. Burnhead. To Fernhead, tackled strongly. Quick hands out wide to Holm, who takes it. Handball again to Tagliferi, running back through the centre of the ground. Comes out wide to Reese Van Paradin. Caught in the tackle, tried to handball it, and a caught legal, it throw. Yeah, legal yeah, disposal. Illegal disposal. So Benny O'Donnell to take the free kick. Hills League rep this year. Or and he won a MVP for us in uh, one of the earlier games. Chips it across to Craig Evans, the experienced pass. Sturt, Nord, and SA State player. Goes long towards the top of the square. And tell you what, allowed to drift across there and almost untacked. I think it's Maxie Wakefield. And he'd be the last bloke you'd allow off an inch, let alone a couple of metres too. Yeah, it's a lovely kick though. Yeah. Experience told there. Yeah, he just Craig Evans. So yeah. chuck right in the pocket here in front of the, uh, well, the members ring, as we'd say here. Probably the, getting uh, West End cans thrown Yeah, probably no. getting a bit of advice there. <laughs> very acute angle. I think our cameras might be right behind this one too. So Maxi Wakefield trying and to steer it through. Just the wrong side of the post through yeah, for a minus. Stabbed at the ball instead of kicking through. So Absolutely. So it reduces uh, the margin uh, back to nine points. Eight, seven to ten, four in favour of Einbeck. And Scotty Wendell born to kick the ball back into play and he comes up the centre of the ground. Uh, and Nathan Fitzgerald, the youngster, good mark. Lex to play on quickly, looking out here to Reese Jordan. Big Rexy on the run. Has a shot at the goal. Once again, across the face. Now, too, a bit of He's frustration. Hit, yeah, lucky there he hit the post on that one. But, yeah. A bit of frustration creeping in the Raiders' uh, 
coaching box just along from us. Uh, some of these chances are very much gettable, but uh, yeah. hopefully it doesn't come back to Hornham as an 8-8 eight, eight to 10-4, so eight-point ball game in favour of the Thunder. It's out here wide. Good defensive ball by Benny O'Donnell, taken by Tagler Ferry. His handball was intercepted, though. Muirden close to the boundary line. Got it back here to uh, Muirden, as in James. Finally pushed it forward here for the Thunder. Oh. It's a good diving mark. Paid, slips catch to Benny uh, Thomas right in front of there. 88.9 FM broadcasting points. So Benny Thomas kicked a goal earlier in this quarter. Oh, I don't oh, know what he tried to do ball. there. That'll be a highlight, I don't think. I <laughs> put him, as the ball comes oh. across here to Hurley, and he's got a chance to hit a stroll in, have a shot at goal, and this could be a great comedy of errors. This is a big leap there, off hands, and I tell you what, a forgettable <laughs> passage of play on a lot of fronts here. And, uh, oh, I can't but, believe Junior Thomas going to have a kick, changed his mind at the last minute, mm. went to grab the ball again, and, uh, yeah, Certainly, anyway. Uh, he was what, Flex low lights real that one as the ball comes in and taken by Tagler Ferry. He's been very good, kicked a couple of goals in the first quarter. He likes to go forward to the man at the moment, Benny Thomas. See if he gets boots the ball this time. Oh, and yes, he, he hit the lever properly that time as he puts it center forward. Big uh, Vandenberg was up high. Ball bustled out there, working the defence. Oh, great oh, save oh, up on young Fitzgerald by Elijah Webb. Put him down. Ball comes out to the Holm. Holm feeds the ball out wide, looking for a teammate there in uh, Cross, I think it is. Ball spilling forward by Chender. Finally gets out no to the No one runner. wants to Connor kick Healy it. Connor <laughs> Healy gets out there to the old firm of Healy and Evans. Gets him out of trouble as they move the ball further forward towards the cricket net. Pocket taken out there by Fielding. He's at a paddock. He can steady and have a shot at the top of the corridor. Ball drops short. Old Wakefield spilt the mark there. Covers over the top of the ball. Oh, oh tried to soccer it was Hulan. Could that be in danger, umpire? Play on, says the umpire. And guess well, who's there? Willie Sell. And it's three for a point. Touch three for a point. So once again, uh, Bridgie had a chance here with a loose ball. Um, but Iron Bank skill error just turned the ball over. I've got Bridgewater actually kicking seven points this uh, quarter. The scoreboard's yeah, a little think bit you're out right. of whack. I've got them for five goals, seven. Yeah, they're eight goals, nine now, Jeff. Sorry, six, seven. Oh, eight goals, ten, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yep, six goals, seven they've kicked. So 13 shots, and Iron Bank have just kicked the uh, believably five goals straight. <laughs> yeah. So, Which uh, is most unlike Iron Bank. Yeah. Anyway, well, the ball's gone out to the wing. It bounces off Craig Evans. Uh, Shearwood contested ball with... I think that was McDonald who got the ball out. Yeah, Witt with the driving it forward and a good defensive mark taken down there by Will Vandenberg. He gets a high kick. I tell you, it's going to give a big challenge for Tagler Ferry. He made a good contest of that ball comes to ground. Healy in there. Sweet handball out there was Fernhead to the run of McDonald on his left. Surely the Raiders yeah. captain can bring some sense to the goal scoring sheet. He does as he puts through his first goal and a much needed goal after a string of outs by uh, the Raiders. So they move along to nine goal. Uh, 10, ten to, to ten, 10 goal, goal four. four. So, yeah, good passage of play. Once again, running across the back of the pack, Bridgie got the ball out into the open, out to McDonald, who, uh, I don't know, is he a natural left footer? Yeah, ah, well, he hasn't got a right foot. Yep, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, and he's, he, he popped it through. So Run, th- Runs in the family, but that's good enough to <laughs> both, for both of them to win their uh, male medals, Rob, so in their eras. So, uh, yeah, no. Nah, back in the good. centre, Vandenberg. Heroic up against up Rollins, Rollins. Yeah, gets ball comes the ball. Cricket pitch. Mildon's in there again. Diving in it also. And uh, contested. McDonald over the top of Vandenberg. So once again, umpire Mick Taylor will come in and ball up. As 24 minutes gone, as the half-time siren, siren I was going to say, close to it. And as fact, is right on it. So end of a uh, pretty free-scoring uh, second quarter. So I'd make it six goals. Seven goals, six. Uh, so I'll just work this out, but the five goals straight. Yep. And seven goals to the Raiders, so 12 goal quarter. Yep. So pretty productive. Yeah, pretty entertaining. Fans, pretty entertaining. And uh, Bridgie got on top in the middle there. And uh, yeah, I think they had uh, six cl- central clearances to four from Iron Bank. Um, yeah, outside of the contested ball. But w- once again, Jeff, it's the team that's getting the loose ball out and then they're capitalising and uh, in that quarter Bridgie did it, did it better than the bankers so uh, yeah so, 7 goal to 5 so we're all tied up yep all tied up 9, nine goal 10, 10 yeah 64 points apiece so you can't get any uh, and in the first game of the year I think Iron Bank led by a point oh, and then, the way. yeah down and at Callington then, and then Bridgie came out and went bang 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 and I think they kicked 9 goal 4 to nothing I'll just get so. you to give us a summary of the uh, the goals okay. before we get into the half time who's kicked what so for, um, where are we? Um, we got Vandenberg has kicked two. Um, Morgan's kicked two. 
Uh, they're the major major uh, Tagler Ferries kicked two, so we've had multiple twos. Uh, Benny Wadley's kicked one. Um, Junior Thomas kicked one, and I think Will Mewden's kicked one as well. So, or no, Will Mewden's kicked two for uh, Bridgie. We've got uh, Willie Sell. We he's got four. Uh, Young Healy he kicked one. Wakefield's kicked. Uh, one, McDonald one, Fielding one, Houlihan one, so there's been a, a spread in that quarter, so um, yeah, half time once again 10 goal 4 Iron Bank, 9 goal 10 Bridgie, and in some regards uh, Iron Bank lucky that Bridgie were uh, a bit inaccurate, so um, good quarter of footy there so better players um, the ruck contest has been really interesting Vandenberg's been good for uh, uh, Bridgie uh, for Iron Bank. Uh, Rollins has been uh, fairly good. I mean, it's probably 50-50, Jeff, in the in the ruck contest. Um, we've got Evans, uh, the old firm, Houlihan in that round, in that quarter particularly. Connor Healy uh, getting the ball out in the open. Willie Sells, dangerous up forward. Uh, Michael O'Sullivan's battled his heart out on him. Uh, gets overwhelmed sometimes by the number of opportunities that come down there. Um, Will Muirden for Iron Bank in the middle of the ground's been good, battling hard. So uh, players in and out, you know, coming in and out of the game. So uh, yeah, all all looks set for an interesting um, uh, second half of footy, Jeff. So uh, hopefully, hopefully it's a, a cracker like it has been in the first half. Yeah, absolutely. As we go around the grounds here at half time, we'll just give you a score coming through from Mount Barker. It's Mount Gar- Mount Barker five eight. Onka Valley 5-1, so a uh, pretty entertaining game over there. But uh, as you said, back here at Thunder Park, well, you can't get any closer. It's both sides on 64 points. It's Iron Bank 10-4, Bridgewater Cullington Raiders 9, goal 10. So what we might do uh, during the half time, we might uh, just slip away for some uh, station endorsements for our very valuable sponsors. And then uh, seeing we're in uh, Thunder Territory, well, we might just play a little bit of an anthem for them. (laughs) So you're on Hills Radio 88.9 FM, Call of the Wild, back with the second half shortly. Listen up, punters. It's the weekend, the footy's on, and it's Super Saturday at the Great Eastern Hotel Sip and Save. Super specials on beer, wine and spirits every Saturday until 6pm. Jump on and like us on Facebook to catch our Super Saturday specials each week. The Great Eastern Hotel, Little Hampton, Hills Radio footy sponsor. I'm Dan Cregan from Von Deuces. At Von Deuces, we focus on building relationships that last a lifetime. In fact, we've been helping Hills families with their legal problems for over 140 years. You can phone us on 8 393 1234 or visit us in our Mount Barker or Adelaide offices. Von Deuces, the legal voice of the Adelaide Hills. Hills Radio Sponsor. Water everywhere and not a drop to spare. And at Woodside Irrigation, they'll ensure you don't waste a drop. Supplying all types of tanks, maxi cube, round and slimline. Water filtration, fittings, pumps, accessories and waste management products. Woodside Irrigation, Onkaparinga Valley Road, Woodside. Proud sponsor of this year's Hills Football League outside broadcast. Oh, and uh, look for Jody's big pink tank. Yes, you're back on Hills Radio 88.9 FM for the commencement of the second half of the big game here at Thunder Park, around 10 Division 2 football, and uh, locked together 10 to 4, 9, 10 at half time. And uh, Rob Sheerwood anticipating well. Nothing much in the sides, uh, obviously, in the first term, the first yeah, half. No, so. good contest, Jeff. So, once again, Vanderberg and Schwartz in the ruck, and I think Wakefield got the tap out of every, everywhere, anywhere, and opened it up, and yep. Quick handball to Will Vandenberg, centre-half back. Coming back into the centre of the ground. 
And it looks like Tommy Schwartz with that uh, bandaged uh, played call to advantage, taken there by Maxie Wakefield, drives it forward to Connor Hill. It looks like he's gone forward this half. Yeah. Good smother there by O'Sullivan. Doubles back on the ball to Beard. Oh, Beard lost what he should have grabbed. And I tell you what, great finish, Maxie Wakefield. Once again, displaying you can't give this man an inch, let alone a yard. And, uh, well, a bit of defensive blue down, unfortunately, for young uh, James Beard. Just fumbled the handball. Jack Beard, sorry, as Jack he came Beard. out to him and grabbed yeah. him by Wakefield and snapped it around the corner. So the opening uh, goal of the second half, and by virtue puts him a goal ahead. Yeah, Maxie Wakefield. Was within a minute. So Absolutely. once again. 37 seconds, actually. <laughs> so back in the middle of the ground uh, as uh, umpire Mickey Taylor gets the ball, and we've got Schwartz and Vandenberg going at it. And there's Will Milton and Shearwood in there for Ironbank. And it's a neutral tap, but it's out the back to Craig Evans as usual. And he kicks forward and we Rexy have Jordan. Rexy Jordan, who's going to line up for goal. Maybe uh, just say 40 metres. Yep. Yeah, so and towards, he's on the, on yep. the left hand on the left hand flank. Towards, towards the, towards the uh, Wells, uh, Acklands Hill Road end goal. So uh, pretty good kick of the football, race on his day. So uh, it's been pretty handy today so far. Yet to uh, kick a goal today. Got seven for the year. This one's going close. Will it clear the line? Yes, it does. A whole pack as they reach for the sky, but it had enough pull on it to get through. So, Reese Jordan putting through the Raiders' second goal in the opening a minute. In fact, a minute 15 gone. So, uh, well, Raiders are no doubt fired up by Coach Ryan Nielsen uh, during the break, one would suspect. And certainly the only way to uh, reply to that is come out and put action words into action, which they've certainly done, Rob, with the opening two goals within the first Yeah, minute. and once again, the team getting the ball out of the middle of the park. Uh, yeah, nice kick out there by, um, I think it was Craig Evans with his left foot mm. finding um, Jordan there. So, OK, Vandenberg gets a tap and the ball back into the into the centre of the ground and Houlihan and Shearwood are there. So um, and it's thrown up again by Mickey Taylor. Over the top, Schwartz with the headband wins the tap down. Once again, it's called by Rob Shearwood. Good work by Houlihan. Feeds the ball out there to young Will Fernhead. Turns inside. Ball eludes Willie Searle. Leading the race for the ball is Connor Healy. In the fourth pocket gets the ball out to Searle. He's set upon by a couple of defenders here. Close to the boundary, the goal line. Actually walked over the line for a minor score to relieve the pressure for the Ray, for uh, Einbeck. And uh, be Benny Thomas to bring the ball back into play. Short chip in the back pocket finds Simon Holm. As uh, Rex, Rex Jordan comes in to guard the mark here. Two minutes gone. Raiders already with uh, two goals and a behind for this half. Up they go. Wendelboard attempt to spoil. Ball comes in. Oh, high and cross nose says the umpire. Shear with a sweeping handball out in the direction of Elijah Ware. Quick hands into Wendelboard. He's set upon there by uh, Houlihan. Was able to get the ball clear. Here's a chance for Willie Muir in the centre of the ground. A thunder skipper drives forward. Punched off out the side. The back Tagler Ferry did really well to drag the ball back in there, Jeff, and keep it con- keep it contested and dra- uh, keep the ball in the forward line for Ironbank. I've been very impressed with Jared Tagler Ferry's work here this afternoon so far. As the ball goes up, Willie Muir and the third man up, get the ball down. Here's Tagler Ferry, the man we just talked about. I tell you what, <laughs> he's just talking about him. It was right on cue there, yeah. Robbie Sherwood. Will take us through that one, <laughs> mate. As Tagler Ferry's kicked his third for the afternoon. Yeah, and Will Muirden just came over the top of the ruck contest. Tapped it out to the left-hand side of the pack and uh, tags, as he's affectionately known, just grabbed the ball, running through and, yeah, kicked a, a nice goal with his left boot. I'll tell you what, mate, you usually give him a, a bake and they let you down, but yeah. i tell you what, that was, no, uh, that was brilliant. that was fantastic. Work. So yeah. well done, Will Mildon. Get, get up there and, and jump over the top. So, so Jared Tagler, very third for the afternoon. Takes his tally so far to 16 for the season. As umpire rule back in the centre will be the bandaged man, Swartz, the mummy up against... The real big mummy in uh, Vandenberg who won the tap down and goes and does the roving work himself. And oh, <laughs> look at this. He does a bit of wrestling. He does it everything. He rucks, he rows, and he does a bit of uh, off the top rope stuff too. Wrestling. Oh, yeah, big, fantastic stuff. Big Nick. <laughs> Great Big stuff. banger. Back in business. Wins the tap down here once again. Goes and does his own work again. I tell you what, who needs the other 17 guys out here at Thunder Park? <laughs> He's got about six guys hanging off him, so that's uh, yeah, great footy. Absolutely. Great footy. So great, uh, great return, uh, great acquisition for the second half of the season, that's for sure. Once again, they go This time a third man up is John McDonald. Fist the ball clear for the Raiders. Kind of meters Jordan. A little uh, tap on cleverly to Wakefield. He's under pressure. Gets a handball as far as Muir. And he goes to ground. Well tackled there by the Raiders. Comes out towards... 
the run of uh, uh, Will, Will Vandenberg. Vandenberg. Yeah, to Simon Holman. He's in there to help once again. She would at the back gets it out wide to Jimmy Muirden, who had the ball taken off him by Sammy Whip. Was that? Yeah, Wakefield with a high kick high. Up they go. Sport the ground comes here to Elijah Webb. Thought about King then gets a handball out towards Watton. He fumbles it. Good enough to recover. Gets the handball to run. Uh, goes and give it to Sherwood. Did it himself. Perhaps in the end should have given it to Sherwood. Coming to meet it was Joel Van Perrin. He overruns it. Oh, tough work back there by Craig Evans. Sweeps the boy in here. Oh, great oh, tackle great there. Tackle. Great persistence. That man again. Jared Tagliferi. Great I tackle. Tell you what, he tagged him well, that's for sure. Uh, Josh Chender looking to uh, look. He thought he was clear, but a great tackle by Jared Tagliferi. So once again, the chance for him to uh, kick his fourth goal of the game. He likes to kick him in quite uh, close together. He kicked too late in the first quarter, so he's kicked the first one of the third quarter. So uh, he's kicked the second one for the Thunderers. So Jared Tagliferi, he's doing it all here, uh, Rob. Yeah, and it was just a chain of hand passes once again out of the middle. They probably overdid it a little bit, but uh, yeah, luck be a fortune. Uh, great tackle at the end there. And perhaps to be a bit honest for, for uh, Josh Chender there, maybe the talk wasn't there. Yeah. They said maybe the handball was probably set him up a bit, but uh, you got to pay good tackling. And there's certainly Jared Tarraferi right? a, a great tackle there, a great tag, and they finished off with a goal. So 11-4 uh, to 11-11, a seven-point margin to the Bridgewater Raiders back in the centre. Vandenberg up, nil all decision. Ball came out there. Fact forward by McDonald towards Reese Jordan. Well sport there by Ben Thomas coming to meet it is Desengo. Backing up well there is fielding close to the boundary line. He's taken out over the boundary line, the half forward flank area. It's Bridgewater work towards the Ackland Hill King at Wells end at goals in this quarter. And Bridgie have a one point lead, 12 goal four to 11 11. Then both teams have kicked two goals at the start. Houlihan gets the ball out of the ruck. Back to McDonald. Handball back to the old firm in Craig Evans. And top of the square looking for. Ah, oh, Healy. No. Healy. Could no. have been infringed there. Will Healy play Once on second again, quick handball out the side. Connor Healy Connor just gives Healy. the old don't argue to Simon Holmes. Swings on the left foot to the top of the square. Lurking back there. Yeah. Spilling the mark with Sewell. Coming through and toping. It looked like uh, Fernhead. And, and uh, Will, Will Vandenberg takes it through for a rush behind. And, uh, Thunder a player down there after Willie Sewell met him pretty... Uh, and I reckon that might be... Uh, Desengo that's... Uh, uh, on he's got points. the leggings. Uh, Desengo. No, Jack Beard. Jack Beard, he's in the wars so, so far. This mm-hmm. quarter, poor old Jack Beard. <laughs> ball wide to Coach Wendelborn on the Morgan side. The wing drives the Thunderers forward. Bouncing ball grabbed out by Joel Van Parrott. And oh, his handball was too quick for the runner Watton. Watton's good enough to go back and get it. He's beset there by a couple of Raiders. Comes to Schwartz, the uh, bandage one. He gets to a teammate. Oh, it's a scrambly footy out there. Clever tap on by Schwartz. Oh, to teammate. Looked like O'Donnell. In turn, feeds the ball off to the run of Houlihan. Houlihan on the left to the top of the square. Oh, off hands from Connor Healy. Well grabbed by Desengo. Pack sets in there. Desengo pulls it back under his body. He could be a bit lucky there, son. Ooh, um, lucky. May have fell. Dragged it gone, back but, in. He uh, would have been holding the ball. He dragged it back under. Some rule. We're about uh, 20 metres out from uh, the Raiders' goal front on a bit of an acute angle. Rux Gava was home held there. No, said the umpire. He's good enough to go in under the pack against Simon Holm. Burrowing in under it, and uh, umpire rule will come in and once again ball it up. So uh, pretty quick transition from both sides still here in this uh, the Premiership term, Rob. Yep, still pretty good pace on the on the game, Jeff. And once again, the ball thrown up and back into the pack, and uh, we've got to Desengo there with uh, Reese Jordan. Reese Jordan, and the ball back up, and we've got. Oh, big leap by Adam Houlihan, be the third man up, but he knocked it straight out of the bend on the case there for deliberate in the AFL ranks. Well, race. would have been, would have probably been, would have probably yes. been. So now it we wasn't just... really to advantage of his team, was it? No, straight out of bounds. Especially so... if you're a ruckman, you think, oh, I've got to do this again. <laughs> and has he paid deliberate there, or and we're just waiting for the ball? Just waiting for the ball. It's our Nicklands Hill Road there. Right, on boundaries throw in once again. They set themselves Jordan up against. Then a brick, the big fella wins the tap out for the iron bank. Taken by Junior Thomas, drives towards the wing area here. Set himself back to his Healy off hands. Oh, waiting behind was Joel Van Pan. Got that man at the moment. Tagler Ferry pokes it forward only as far as Craig Evans. He looks to give it off. Decides to do it himself along the boundary. Short chip forward. Oh, come off the chest of fielding. Grabbed by Tagler Ferry. He's in everything at the moment. Drives the ball forward. He's got a lead down here with Searle. Oh, Searle fumble what he should have taken. He's under pressure there to regather it from uh, Chender. Chender goes to ground with the ball. And, uh, well, perhaps an opportunity there. Uh, sport there. It by, was uh, Ben Wadley. Wadley. Sorry. Yeah, Ben Wadley. Wadley. not where. Sorry. Wadley. Yeah. So uh, the ball's gone out of bounds. The right half forward flank for Ironbank. And uh, knock, uh, 
Vandenberg gets the tap and it's in the congested area again. And once again, Tagler Ferry's there. Right in front of the, yeah, the pack members area. Yep, yeah. and Liam Healy's got the ball for Bridgie. So uh, Good Mickey, crowd in the house, yeah. Mickey Taylor to throw the ball up again. Vandenberg gets the tap once again. Contested. Ware gets the ball. Handball out the back looking for Watton. And pushed out of bounds. And we've got to throw in again on the right half forward flank in front of the uh, pack home members. So the bandaged man in... Yeah. Schwartz. But uh, Vandenberg won the tap down. Johnny McDonald trying to shrug off opponent. Well done, Tagler Ferry. Rattles him, collars him very well on that left foot and uh, he steps over the boundary line. Perhaps could be played in yeah, AFL because he didn't make again. any attempt. But yep. anyway, this is Hills Football League and trust you enjoying on 88.9 FM and also on Hills Footy Flicks. Throw in Schwartz versus Vandenberg. Vandenberg down, kick smothered there by Fielding. Comes out the wit in turn, gets to the run of O'Donnell. He turns back into uh, traffic. Trying to find a teammate. Vandenberg just gets a little knock on. Taken by Witt. Comes to uh, McDonald. Round the corner. Intercept by oh. Thomas through his hands. Overrun there. Our players scrambling here for the ball. Finally working the forward. Raiders taken by Fielding. Goes towards the top of the square. No one at home. Except Searle gets there. And takes a mark. He carries the ball over the line. But I oh. think he's completed the mark. But his angle will certainly be pretty tight here. But uh, well done by the Raiders as they work the ball along the... Uh, Eastern side, sorry, the western side wing in front of the commentary pots here. So Willie Searle tuck right next to the point post here. Take his best kick here as the Thunder is converged to make sure he doesn't run around. So he's going to go for the banana here, Rob, I'd suggest. Yep. Steps around, tries to curl it back, but the angle's too tight and uh, cross the face through for a more and a score. And once again, the failing to con- um, to convert on an iron bank mistake here. Fairly simple mark dropped by Junior Thomas. Most uncharacteristic. Went without the ball. So, so we're the, said, the said man will bring it back into play. As and, uh, everyone's zoned up just to see if uh, arms in front of him. So he goes wide towards the Morgan outer side wing. Looking for co- Captain uh, and Coach uh, Wendelborn and Muirden. They can point out there. Comes to Muirden. Drives the ball forward. He's got a uh, something on offer here. Coming to meet was Fitzgerald through his hands. Adam Sherwood, good shooting handball to Watton. Here's the man, the mate, Tagler Ferry. You back him in. And I tell you what, this time he has let me down. Yes, the ones you think he's going to kick, and that's a point. And Bridgie get the ball back in straight away through. Fernhead. Reece, Fernhead gets it out onto the wing. Benny uh, O'Donnell on the Morgan side wing. Gets support here. Did good run inside. Looks like Witt, I think. Drives him forward looking... Over the head of Wakefield was the intended take. Coming to meet it was Young Beard. Good attack Muirden. on the ball, taken by Muirden. Drives his way out as uh, Vandenberg goes down behind play. Intercept by Sam Witt. Drives the ball out wide. Finds Craig Evans on the uh, sun bast Morgan side wing. He drives it and taken by Johnny McDonald. He swings a low raking pass and finds Healy as in Will. In fact, that uh, behind by Tagler Ferry, uh, Rob was on back's first behind since the first quarter. First quarter. So pretty accurate kicking, Coach uh, Wendell will be pretty yeah, happy. Be happy with the kicking. Twelve so, five, um, where Coach Ryan Nelson of the Raiders would be a bit uh, frustrated. Eleven thirteen by his uh, side at the moment. So it's Will Healy, long raking shot from outside. 40. And it's and, gone. Uh, yes, across the face and uh, no registered score. So bringing it back into play will be uh, Junior Thomas once again as the shadows just marginally start to creak over Thunder Park here. And we've got Junior Thomas to kick the ball in from the back pocket, coming out towards uh, us on the uh, wing side out by the Hills Radio bus as the ball close to the boundary line, Desengo, and off hands, we've got a throw in. So 12 minutes gone, Ironbank 12-5. 11.13, the Bridgewater Callington Raiders. A great struggle, great duel in the sun, and it's certainly sun-blessed. Oh, it has to be infringed by Rollins. <laughs> fitted in for a necktie, I'd suggest. <laughs> Should be wearing like, a Peter Shearer. You well, like this colour, sir? I'll just fit it around you. More like a wrestling game. <laughs> Absolutely. Comes out here to tag the ferry. Gets around his opponent. Wendenberg supplies the shepherd and chips the boy out of the young uh, Watton right in front of the uh, coach's box, in front of the timekeeper's box. Not much room for him to manoeuvre. Drives the ball towards the centre. half forward. he's got... Uh, Dropping short and dropping back and taking a mark there for Bridgewater was Liam Healy. So Healy drives it wide up into it as he got rid of it. Kicks out here towards, looks like a up the field of free, as I called the infringement as he kicked it. So it'll be uh, Will, Healy Will Healy in the cricket net pocket to take the uh, result and free kick. Called to play on, decided what he's going to do. Runs himself in a bit of trouble, finally drives it towards the half-forward flank area. A Bridgewater player pushed off the ball was Connor Healy before it got there by Desingo. Desingo grabs the ball. Healy comes to meet him. Desingo gets around him cleverly, then short little chip and finds 
Cross, I think it is. Yeah, James Cross, halfback flank, kicks down towards the wing, and we've got Will Healy dropping an overhead mark, comes back into the congestion out on the wing there, and we have a ball up. So uh, out on the far side, we've got uh, Nick Vandenberg up against Rollins. Rollins. Tagliferi, man of the moment, gets the ball, tries to run through the pack, and once again we got congested on the right, on the far wing. Good passages are open transition football, Rob, but when they get into the pack, they sometimes find it hard to get out there. It's such the case at the moment. Vandenberg up, knocks the ball forward. Once again, down in a pack situation, close to the boundary line. Three or four players over the top of it. Must be close to the boundary line as umpire Mick Taylor will come in and ball it up. I'd suggest just a couple of millimetres in. And Bridgie leading by two points, 11-13 to 12-goal five, and we're at the 14-minute mark of the third quarter. And Vandenberg over the top, and this time the ball is out of bounds, so we'll have yet another duel by the big men in Rollins and Nick, the impressive Nick Vandenberg from the Iron Bank Thunderers as they do battle. Rollins, uh, Vandenberg goes to ground. Shearwood ball comes to come Shearwood. Chose pokes the ball forward to the lead there of Wadley. Wadley. Good work there by young uh, Nathan Fitzgerald, though, to get the ball in towards a uh, Bridgewater teammate. He backs it up. Good work by the youngster. Or oh, sets a handball up there. Put a little bit of a task for Will Fernhead. Fernhead, I think that was. Yeah, yeah Fernhead. Jeff. And he was challenging the ball out of bounds in the forward pocket. So once again, the uh, Ruckman gathered to uh, earn their keep. Vandenberg and uh, Rollins over the top was Hulan with that third man up. Trying to barge his way through. Was fielding. He's dispossessed. In the time, umpire Taylor has picked out an infringement there. And looks like it is going to, yeah, uh, Will knocker. Vandenberg. Yeah, Vandenberg. He probably yep, Nick. looks a bit amazed to get it, but I suppose maybe the third man up was the uh, infringement. Handball's back to Coach Vendel Bourne. He better get rid of it. Quick eyes, run down. Yes, you could see him coming. No peripheral vision there. And as they drive it forward, the Raiders up to Willie Searle. And uh, good work there by, I think it was Nicky Jansen, maybe. Yeah, he picked up the loose ball. Good tackle on, uh, yep. on uh, Wendell Bourne, yeah, and yeah. he just drove it. So from a shot, shot at, possible shot at goal by the coach to a shot at goal by the opposition, full forward in Willie Searle. And Past teammate, of course, set sail towards the King Wells on uh, Acklands Hill end goals. It drifts across the face, and yet another behind. The Bridgewater Callington uh, side. They move along 11 14 to 12 goal five. And very lucky there, Jeff, that uh, transition play was good. Mm. One kick from centre half back to centre half forward. And yeah. Once uh, again, perhaps no support for the coach. Maybe a bit of voice or some physical support in the form of a shepherd. But anyway, Ben Thomas Jr. will bring it back in longer. Kick towards the half forward flank here. Setting himself as Healy through his hands. Ball comes out in towards Tommy Watton. Watton. He's Good got tackle. A great tackle laid Good by tackle. Craig Evans, holding the ball and great uh, way, great display of a tackling skill there by Craig Evans. Of course, former Sturt North, Nord and South Australian representative drives the ball forward. He's got the lead here, looking for Reese Jordan, but cut off there by Desengo, who's uh, been pretty handy. Gives yep. it to another man who's been pretty busy, Ben Thomas, selling a bit of candy with uh, Cross there. As he drives the ball back and uh, getting back and uh, taking a good strong mark was Josh Chenda. Chenda chips the ball short to Johnny McDonald, close to the centre of the ground. Goes and towards the Morgan side wing. He's got a loose man out there in Fernhead. Fernhead with a little attempted grubber. Fell short of its target, gathered by Searle. Oh. He's taken, he's holding the ball. Got to be, oh, he's paid it too high, hasn't he? Oh, I don't know. Play yeah, on, says Yabba. Searle plays the ball on. And once again, misses. Perhaps could have gone back for the set shot there. Uh, yeah, Rob. I think because he grabbed his jumper high and uh, slung him around. He did um, have the ball for a long time before he's tackled, though. Uh, yeah. Searle, so perhaps a bit fortunate and uh, perhaps not deserving of a goal, which didn't result. But uh, five points, two goal five. They've kicked this quarter. Uh, on, yes. Uh, sorry, the Thunderers. Uh, uh, Raiders. Raiders. So they. their uh, inaccuracy continues. Ben Thomas goes towards the outer Morgan side. Wing, oh, pushing the back, you'd think, the Willie Mewden. No, not paid as the mark is taken for the Raiders. And they come back in to the centre of the ground where McDonald grabs the ball, wheels around onto his left boot, and guess who's there? Connor Healy. Yeah, and well, he's taken the mark on the half forward flank. He'd be 35, 40 metres out. Oh, and his own, too. He's uh, slipped in front of uh, is it Young Cross on the mark. Yeah, uh, yeah, James Cross on the mark. So, so Connor Healy, Healy has kicked nine goals for the season so far. Played his 100th game uh, the other round before the uh, interleague break. And he comes in and uh, goes short. Oh, oh. oh just uh, now There's something something's happening in the goal square. In the goal square. Something, an infringement in the and goal Mickey square. Mickey Taylor's right there. And, and a, a blood rule. A blood rule for someone. 
And it looks the ball's coming back out here. He's just saying to Willie Searle about Willie Ooh. Searle just grabbing this, the gonzo there, the nose. Looks like something's happened there. Yeah, he looks like he's got a bit of blood on him. And the ball's coming the centre half. But the ball is, looks like back. it might be on Banks' kick, so uh, not sure what's happened Ooh, here. Willie's got a nice blood nose. So uh, Nathan Rowland waiting to come back on. That forward, and uh, obviously the free kick has been turned over there for some reason, as Connor Healy had the ball, didn't he? So uh, Bridgewater crowd here not happy with that uh, decision. As, uh, yeah, didn't Willie see what Searle happened. comes off. Didn't see what happened down there, but Jeff Cross has got the ball. Uh, James Cross has got the ball now at uh, half back right for Iron Bank. So uh, looking to kick the ball long to half forward where we've got Vandenberg and the ball runs out the back. Frenchman and in the pack and uh, Willie Muir and the Iron Bank skipper is going to take the free kick here. Rob, he actually kicked the first goal of the game and also scored a goal in the second term. So Willie Muir on the money as far as kicking goals today for his team. So if he can get another one here, he'll put it close to the uh, goal face and certainly be benefit for his side as they work towards the golf course end. Look for a short pass to the man, tackle fair in the pocket, but now yep. we'll decide to come back and go long to the top of the square. Lord, is it. And it's a nice kick to the top of the square. And big Rollins was back there. Could have Did, been, Couldn't yeah. take the mark. And then it's into a pack situation as Shearwood and is that McDonald fighting over the ball down there. So four-point margin to the Raiders, 11-5 to 12, 11-15 to 12-5. Close to Iron Bank goal face here. It's like a rugby scrum. We'll see more of that on Wednesday night in the state of origin, yeah. of course. Uh, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit of push and shove there, a bit of feeling in the game, but uh, been pretty contested, pretty good spirit, a hard-fought game, but then good spirit at the moment. Let's hope that continues. It's uh, so, Bomber Lancaster getting up a little bit gingerly, holding a shoulder or something down there. He said, yep. couldn't be too bad as he went for that knock. But umpire Taylor has picked out a free kick from that uh, throw-up. And it's going to Wendelbourne. It's quite interesting how the umpire is not in the officiating area. Picks out a taken free kick. Out Maybe Mickey. he's got the span, I don't know. But the free kick going to go to Scott Wendelbourne, as you said, uh, Rob. Yeah, Mickey Taylor picking that one up. So he'd be 15 metres out on the sliders of angles. As said, towards the golf course end. And, so, this, uh, and this will put Iron Bank back in front by two points. Hasn't kicked a goal uh, today yet. He has 15 for the season. And he has not added to that tally. He has added to his behinds tally as he, uh, well, should have got that one. Yeah, should have got that one. Yet another one missed from probably 15, 20 metres out. So uh, Bridgie at the moment, 11 goal, 15. Iron Bank, uh, 12 goal, 6. And we're at the 20... Just gone the 21 minute mark of the so third quarter. So effectively 12 9 to 12 6. Yeah, three so point margin. Three point. Yes. Yep, game's been tied all day. Most people who don't do the maths as good <laughs> as you, uh, Rob. Craig Evans to bring the ball back in from full back, kicks him to himself, and a nice long kick coming out to Connor Healy on the wing with Will Muirden. And yeah, great mark, Connor Healy. Yeah, good mark. Running, ro looking to play on. Use the, bo use the body well there, uh, Connor Healy. Just hold Will Martin out and then the end. Uh, one hander as he chips the ball further forward to the uh, pass Mar Millis. Johnny McDonald needs to work into the game. That's for kick the goal, but uh, probably hasn't had the influence he normally has. As he comes out, the Willie Searle has come back in after getting the blood rule uh, patched up the nose towards the top of the square. Off hands, bounces towards the uh, goal line and through for a rushed behind to the Raiders. So they extend it back out to four points. 12-6 to 11-16. So uh, certainly the accuracy in favour of Einbeck at the moment is Junior Thomas <coughs> brings the ball back out here. Direction of Elijah Ware got off the ground, but fumbled last minute. Working hard is young Houlihan. Spins out of pack, gets towards Willie Searle. He's shadowed pretty close by Desengo. He managed to keep the ball in play. Comes back to Houlihan. A oh, quick handball out here to Reese Jordan. Sits sold at the top of the square. Some tall timber back there. Getting back there was Maxie Wakefield. Perhaps support there by his teammate. And the ball over the boundary line. Right next to the point post as the Raiders once again uh, launching a dangerous attack. At the Ackland Hill Road end and Jace Woolley, the boundary umpire, throwing it in and Rollins and Vandenberg go at it again and a quick kick out of the pack goes out of bounds. Oh, no, three for behind a Bridgewater. So Scotty Wendelborn to bring the ball back into play. Comes out to the right-hand side and Connor Healy in front. And, uh, well contested by Joel Van Paradin. Kick, ball comes to Houlihan. Houlihan uh, from the forward left, half forward flank, grabs it, runs into an open goal and nails it. So 
Bridgewater just creating a little bit of a gap here. They go to 12 goals, 17. Iron Bank, 12 goals, 6. And we're at the 22, nearly 23-minute mark of the third quarter. So yeah. that was uh, Connor Healy, a nice goal. Yeah, good work by Adam Houlihan. He was involved in the build-up and then eventually got it back from Connor Healy. Uh, persistence by Healy. And then Houlihan, as I said, he's such a creative young footballer and just uh, on the run. On the angle, but just threaded the eye to needle very nicely for his second goal of the afternoon. So, as uh, Rob Sherwood said, 12-17 to 12-6 now, nine-point margin, sorry, 11-point margin in favour of the Raiders. Back in the centre, up they go. Rollins wins the tap down, taken out of here by Cross. Feeds it back to Holm and turn gets it to Adam Sherwood, who drives him forward. Oh, off hands there from the Bridgewater defence. Probably should have taken that one. Coming to meet the ball strongly is Joel Van Paradin, looking for support. Gets out to Elijah Ware. His kick is smothered by Houlihan. Paradin traps it forward. There's Daniel Wells on the ground. And, uh, oh, a free kick being uh, rather oh, uh, fortuitous. Uh, free kick there to Joel Nugget Van Paradin. So he has a chance here to pull the iron bank back as he, uh, we move to 23 and a half minutes. So three-quarter time looming. So uh, iron bank would be keen to get another goal back. As I said, 11 points in arrears at this stage. So Van Paradin uh, fancying his chances here. He's got the Dennis Lilly style run-up as he charges towards the man on the mark, Sam Witt. Strikes the ball, oh, pretty ugly as it falls short. Oh, Michael Lancaster dropped what he Drop should have taken. He's set upon by Einbank here. Willie Muir strips it in. And Sherwood with a close kick. And I tell you what, great yeah. work there. Out of the pocket, little snap. So we're back to a five-point ball game. And it's a cracking game, Jeff. So uh, just hard work. And Lancaster dropped what appeared to be an easy mark. Yeah, he did have that... Uh, he did have that uh, trouble with his shoulder earlier in the game, so where that's affected him as he tried to complete yep. that mark, and they set upon a great smother there by the Iron Bank player, and of course Adam Sherwood grabbing it and just, uh, well, once again an opportunist and uh, snapping it uh, truly over his head, so a much-needed goal, as we said, that pulls the margin back to, uh, what, five, five points. points? Yeah. 13-6 to 12-17. 24 minutes gone. A ring a ding dinger, as uh, the great man Louis Richards would say here at Thunder Park, as umpire rule wise recalled it. So, yeah, it was a shock and yeah, well, shocking ball up. Shock and bounce. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> so Vandenberg up against Rollins again, and Houlihan comes out with the ball, goes to uh, Wakefield, a quick little shimmy handball, went out to Josh Fielding, and the ball coming into the forward pocket. And oh, the, Connor Healy playing keeps the off as he got the ball from uh, Rich Jordan. He centres the ball to the corridor and coming across and taking the mark. And Will Fern here, and well played Raiders. They could have uh, blasted away from the impossible angle. And Jordan and Connor Healy working well together. And then the presence of mine, Will Fern here, saw the open gap and ran across from the Morgan wing. And now from directly in front, and it'd be some 30, 35 metres out straight in front of the uh, Wells Ackland Hill end at goal. So you'd think uh, he'd just. Uh, Counter that uh, little bit of a surge the Thunderers are making. So, Will Fernhead spent some time at Onka Valley in recent seasons. And umpire's moved a bit too much to go, umpire. He's missed. He has missed. And so, once uh, again, Iron Bank very, very lucky. So, three goal eight is the return by the Raiders this quarter. Iron Bank three goal two. And it's 13 16 to 12 18 here at Thunder Park round 10. Division 2 actual on Hills Radio 88.9 FM and also highlights on Hills Footy Flex as Ben Thomas brings the ball back into the centre square area. Off, um, off hands then from Will Vanderberg. He's good enough to get the ball back. Double play featuring Vanderberg. Chips it out here, but uh, right in the box seat to take the relieving mark is Craig Evans. And Evans in the on the left half back flank out by the cricket nets. Goes short to... Who we got over there? Fern, young Fernhead, is yeah, it? Yeah, Will Fernhead. Will yep. Fernhead, and they're just slowing the game down as we come to the 25-minute mark of the third quarter. Kicks the ball up to the to the Morgan wing, and Desengo up at it, and Vandenberg. It looks like yet another ball up, so uh, that's out on the Morgan wing, and we've got uh, Nick Vandenberg out there with Rollins as the three-quarter time siren goes, and we've got Bridgewater 12 goal 18. Uh, Iron Bank, 13 goals, 6. So, uh, yeah, yet again, another entertaining uh, quarter, Jeff. So, interestingly enough, uh, Rob, both sides are kicking the uh, three goals for the term. But uh, when you take into account Bridgewater added eight points with that, they could have really... A lot of those shots, I know, were under pressure from the Thunderers. 
which forced them to, uh, you know, miss. But a lot of them, a couple of set shots would have been Monty's to nailed. And uh, yep. well, bad kicking is bad footy. Is a great man you would have uh, yes. played with Wally May. Wally May? Not showing no. Those, uh, <laughs> Comment Wally May. <laughs> <laughs> they were the good old days. Anyway, no. Yeah, so I think Iron Bank were lucky in the sense that, you know, they kicked eight points where, you know, they were highly gettable goals. So very similar to the first game of the year, Jeff, where at the start of the third quarter here, Bridgie got away, opened the game up, kicked the first two goals, um, and then from there Iron Bank were lucky enough to peg them back. Uh, so, yeah, we I think we're going to have a really entertaining final quarter here. Willie Searle's back out there after uh, yeah. getting treatment on his nose. So on the, on uh, the from, nose, it's never any good. Not their eyes watering. But, yeah, uh, so an incident down in the goal square there towards the end of the third quarter. So, um, yeah. So the margin here is uh, we got uh, 14, uh, yeah, well, six points. So six points in favour of the uh, Bridgewater. Yeah, Bridgewater. Uh, so. been a pretty close game all time. Uh, Ironback led 5-4 to 2-3 at quarter time because scores were tied up and now it's a goal lead to Iron, uh, sorry, to the Thunderers here on 88.9 FM Call of the Wild and we'll be back shortly for the uh, conclusion and the, th- the final quarter of what's been a fantastic game of football so far here on Hills Radio Call of the Wild 88.9 FM. Yes, you're back here at Thunder Park. Three-quarter time and six-point ball game at Bridgewater. Inaccurate Bridgewater Raiders 12-18, leading the Ironback Thunderers 13-goal six. And as we go around the grounds, three-quarter time, Mount Barker 9-13, Onca Valley 8-3. So a pretty close game out there at Howard Lane. And uh, Pistols with you and joined this afternoon by uh, Ironback Football Club uh, direct, footy director Rob Sherwood. And Rob, a great game of footy, as we said, uh, Ironback narrowly in front of three quarter, at quarter time. All tied at half time now, only a goal of difference. So uh, important games, we said, pre-match for Ironback, still very much in the uh, the result here. Yep. So as we're just about to get the third quarter under, uh, final quarter underway, the ball thrown up and Nick Vandenberg up against Schwartz. Sherwood gets the ball out the middle, quick handball out to the running home. Oh, great smother Wakefield. Ends up at half forward for Bridgewater. We've got Rollins running at the ball. Um, over to home, quick handball to Junior Thomas. Comes out to the wing. We've got Joel Van Paraden getting it. Quick handball to Sherwood running through the middle now. Looks for the quick kick and he... Goes up to Reese Van Parrot and back to Shearwood running through the middle. And we've got Daniel Desingo has been shifted up forward by the looks. Tommy Watton's over there with young Liam Healy. Uh, Bridgie through Lancaster get the ball and they run it out of bounds over in the far left-hand pocket. Uh, at the at the Ackland Hill Road, Road end. I tell you, seriously, when we come in this game, I seriously looked at it and I know you've got a few out, uh, the Thunderers. I thought just the high advantage. But, gee, uh, Will and uh, Nick Vandenberg, he's been fantastic today. Schwartz for Bridgewater gets the ball over the back. Oh, clever ta- uh, taken there by Hula and gets it back to the man Schwartz we're talking about. He's dispossessed of the ball, runs him in a bit of trouble. There's the ball spin out through Elijah Ware. Comes out to Adam Houlihan, flicks a creative handball to uh, Maxie Wakefield under pressure there from Will Mew and goes to ground. And uh, lucky enough there because Wakefield usually does some creative stuff with the football, but they're held up on that occasion by uh, Willie Mewden on the Morgan side wing. Uh, coming up to one and a half minutes gone. Six-point ball game. Vandenberg, Nick, hacks it forward, running onto it. It's Jay Hack, Johnny Mack. Leads it to Craig Evans to take it. He's wrapped up in the tackle. Comes out here, spills out here to the run of Reese Van Parrot and puts it forward and taken by Will. That, that man, Tagler Ferry. That man, Tagler Ferry. And I tell you what, he'd be uh, high he'd in be perhaps high. the uh, most valuable player award here this yeah, afternoon. Yeah, he's played a real opportunist Kicked game, Kicked four Jeff. goals and tucked into the uh, right forward pocket. Ackland's Hill, King Will's goals. And I tell you what, he's kicked this one like the king. <laughs> Big Stewie wouldn't do any better than that, I tell you. Tagler uh. Ferry on fire. He's fifth for the game. And I tell you what, any man who kicks tight five goals has to put his name up there. But he's also done some pretty good efforts around the ground and uh, creative work. So uh, Jared Tagliferi having a day out and uh, a very important goal there for the Raiders and uh, all tied up here. 12-18 yep. Bridgewater Callington. Uh, Ironbank Thunderers 14 goal six and uh, just coming up two minutes gone and she's up for grabs. That's for sure this result, Rob. Okay, Vandenberg and Schwartz in the ruck again. Ball tapped out and a quick kick out by Wendell Bourne to the wing and we've got Will Mewden chased by... Wakefield, great tackle over to Sammy Wick. Quick hands out there to Fielding. Josh Fielding. Long kick down to the top of the square looking for Willie Searle. Connor uh, Healy. Connor Healy's up there. Um, quick 
back tap and it's forced out of bounds. No, it's a free kick free to kick, yeah. James Cross for a, a high tackle, I think, Jeff. It comes across goal rather dangerously, but it comes off as Simon Holm takes a mark. Handball's back to the run of Cross, who's uh, run on. Now drives towards the wing, but the kicks are skew. And a oh, oh, remarkable a, one here, <laughs> by, as I said. Maxie Wakefield in supreme form at this stage of his career and just ducked up the jukes and that stuck, but his kicker let him down as Adam Shearwood intercepts, sold a bit of candy, runs around, but his kick is smothered as he uh, tried to clear it towards the boundary line. Elijah Ware in front of the coach's box. So on back uh, supporters, yep. uh, sorry, Bridgewater supporters uh, claim out in the full. Uh, a bit of conjecture here with the boundary yep. umpire. Definitely went out of bounds. And on out the of bounds. And be Phil, Will Fearn Fear here will probably get a bit of advice there from the great man himself, Stuart Wells. As Fernhead takes the resultant free kick for the Raiders right in front of the Iron Bank coaching box, sets it high towards the point of the square pack. Gavis big leap there. Vanderberg in front comes down there off hands. Uh, Reese Reese Jordan, Jordan. Yeah, try to bullock yeah. his way through. But in the meantime, umpire Taylor said, I'll have it, boys. So dangerous territory here for the Thunder. It's some 30 metres out in front of the uh, the goal. It's and ball, we've uh, got Reese Jordan again going in. Yeah, grab tackled tackle there by. by uh, uh, well, I tell you what, Vandenberg's put in a pretty. Yeah, he's been pretty Herculean effort, if that's the word to use. Yeah, he's rucked all day, non-stop, no breaks, so he's done a really good job. So he's up against Rollins again, down back, Wendelbourne over the top to Shearwood. Quick kick to centre half, back, and, oh, Chenda. easy easy mark drop there by Chenda. And we've got Elijah Ware going in, laying the tackle as they go back in over the ball. So right in the centre of the ground, just towards the wing, on the member's side as umpire throws a ball up. And once again, we've got... Vandenberg getting the tap to Mulden. Quick hands out the back to Holm. Opening the game up, going out the far side of the ground to Tagliferia. Great grab as they look to bring the ball back in towards centre half forward. Tagliferia with the ball now. Looking for Wendell Coach Bourne. Wendell Bourne off the back of the pack. Shearwood had the ball. Quick tackle out of it. And the ball comes run out by Sammy Witt back to the wing. And we've got Will, Will Vandenberg taking the mark for Iron Bank at uh, half forward left. Good steadying mark by Will Vandenberg as the shadows start to creep across here at Thunder Park. What's well, been a great uh, game oh. of footy and uh, great weather. And uh, <laughs> Who's got it? This bloke's been great. It's been great all around. And uh, Tagler Ferry <laughs> so accepting oh. the uh, the pass here from uh, Will Vandenberg. So uh, see how he goes this occasion. Tagler Ferry already with the five to his name. And certainly uh, scores tight at the moment, so any score will give the Thunderers back the lead, which they feel for a uh, majority of the day. Comes in, I uh, love that laid-back sort of action. Yes. As I said, stabs it. At, uh, nothing too uh, over the top, but he's very effective, as I said. Steers through his uh, sixth goal of the game. And that's Rob the Sherwood. second for Iron Bank of the quarter, and they've uh, dominated the inside 50 so far in the last quarter. They've had six to two. And they won the centre bounce clearance after the last goal. So once again, Mickey Taylor's got the ball in the middle of the ground. And we've got Vandenberg going to go up against Schwartz. Yep, still got the bandage around his head. So Mickey Taylor coming in, throwing the ball in the air, get the game underway again. And Vandenberg gets it to J-Mac, who tries to run through and bust the pack. It comes to James Cross as they're all wrapped up. He's wrapped up by Schwartz and Mickey Taylor coming in to throw the ball up again. So five and a half minutes gone. Iron Bank and those in front by uh, one straight kick, 15-6 to 12-18 on call to Wild 88.9 FM Hills Radio. Trust you're enjoying it, uh, the live call, or also if you're streaming it, once again, the ball locked up. And, uh, well, yards are becoming uh, like inches here. Try to get them. Very vital as uh, Schwartz shrugged off his opponent down the ground level, taking it, trying to hack it forward was Will Muir and Johnny McDonald. Quick hands out to Will Fernhead. Little deliberate kick out to the run of Maxie Wakefield, who takes a mark. Waste no time and put it up. It's close to the boundary line in front of the members' reserve oh. here. In fact, it's out over the boundary line. So the resultant free kick will go uh, to Adam Shearwood for the uh, Iron Bank Thunders. So uh, she would have been pretty busy around the um, yet to kick a goal or kick one goal, sorry, late in the third term as he toe pokes it to the run of Joel Van Parrott. And so just inch by inch, yard by yard, as they say, Rob. So, <laughs> metre uh, by metre in this metric age, yeah. Jeffrey. So uh, low raking pass, great disposal by Joel Van Parrott and finds the skipper and Willie Muirden. So Muirden really in the wing area. Broadcast side here, drives the ball, bit of a floating kick towards centre four, but coming to meet it strongly. Oh, oh could have been paid the mark to Singer. Yes, has. he has. By the umpire, and fair enough, he held that long enough 
So Daniel Desengo, who appears to have been moved forward, or whether he's yeah, I think he's in the centre half forward now, Jeff. Okay. And he's, he's a proven uh, goal kicker. Yep, and Lancaster was right on his hammer yeah. there. It was a, f- a great that, mark. That was a great mark, given it wasn't the best of uh, kicks by Willie Mew, a bit of a mung. A uh, finger breaking mongrel punt. Absolutely. So Daniel Desengo. 35 metres out, dead in front. Ackland Hill, King at Wells, and goals. Deliberate approach. Tell you what, looks pretty good off the boot. And the uh, goal umpire didn't deviate one inch. So uh, required results. So as Rob Sheward said, the third straight goal of this quarter goes to the Iron Bank. Thunderers. And w- once again, Jeff, it's the side that's getting the ball out of the middle, which Iron Bank have started the quarter. They've absolutely dominated inside 50s now. That was their seventh, and Bridgie have had two. So once again, we're now 16-6 Iron Bank, 12-18 Bridgie. So we've broken out to a three-goal margin. Uh, Chair, this could be an important result if they get up here, Iron Bank, because we put them right in the mix. Uh, Vandenberg gets a... If Gay lose today to Nan, and Bird will win. All sides could be in that real fat fight, and it could be a finger there done by Wadley as the ball comes to the ground. It didn't. Yeah, and they're fighting for the ball at centre half forward. And yes, I think Wadley. Yeah, just checking the pinkies there. I don't think he'll be playing the piano tonight, uh, Rob. <laughs> that's for sure. As umpire rule comes in to uh, ball it up. So once again, Rollins and Vanderbilt go to the top. Windleboard hacks it forward for his side. Oh, and back. Good handball out there by Watton to the runner. Shield with the handball. Kick gets the tag. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Lucky seven. I tell you what. <laughs> Uh, Jared Tagler Ferry. And once again, Jeff, it was just a really quick hand yep. of Iron Bank getting the ball into space. I tell you what, they say so. you can over handball sometimes, but the creative handball, uh, Adam Shearwood involved in there, Benny uh, Watton was involved, I think, and uh, Thomas Watton, sorry. Some good work, and then that man Tagler Ferry, and certainly he'd kick him from uh, over his head at the moment. He's just. Uh, Seeing the ball like a watermelon. <laughs> and the goal face must be a mile apart in the post, so he just guides them through from anywhere. So just stretching the lead here now, 17-16 to 12-18. Can the Bridgewater Raiders answer? Because the top spots are for up for grabs for them too, should they lose this game today. Yep, Vandenberg gets the tap to his brother, Will, who's then swamped by Johnny McDonald, and we've got another ball up in the middle of the ground. And Sammy Witt that got uh, Will Vandenberg. So once again, Schwartz up against... Nick Vandenberg and Vandenberg gets the tap. Elijah wears there. It goes to Tagler Ferry. A quick handball out. No, couldn't get it out. Got another ball up. You'd probably be keen to put your, uh, not knocking Sammy Witt, you'd be probably keen to put your best defender. I know young Nathan Fitzgerald, sorry, he's on him. Perhaps your best defender because he's the danger man, Tagler Ferry. In fact, he's been the difference between the two sides so far when you kick seven goals as the ball goes out towards the cricket net pocket. Leading the race for ball is Adam Hulan. He's on a lot of pressure there from James Cross. Goes to ground ball close to the boundary line. And out over the line, 17 at 6. Uh, Iron Bank leading Bridgewater Callington, 12 goal 8. And coming at the nine minute mark last quarter. But uh, yeah, free kick has been paid. I yep. saw uh, a uh, signalling. Uh, yep, Hall of Hand for a uh, push in the back, I think. So James Cross on the mark. Hall of Hand's probably 38, 40 metres out. So he's kicked two already this afternoon. He needs this one importantly for the Raiders. Won't make the distance off hands in the goal square. Maxie Wakefield gabs it, gets a handball out of here. Sorry, Wakefield got it from Searle. And it's Wakefield's shot that uh, went through for the minor score. Bridgewater's first score for the quarter, Rob. Yep. And, moves, and uh, their third inside 50. So uh, Junior Thomas to bring the ball back in. And he was looking out to the members' side here in front of the club rooms. But he's gone back and he's readjusted. And then a kick out now coming this way. And he's looking for Will Muir. And they go up, contested ball. And there's Elijah Ware in there under. Oh, nice handball out. And they're just trying to tackle the area, grabs the ball. Quick handball to Joel Van Perriton, centre half back. Looping kick forward. Bouncing ball to Sengo. And Scotty Wendelborn has run onto it, running into the forward pocket and kicked another goal for the Bankers. So it's a blitz at the moment. They go to 18 goals, 6 to 12, 19. And is that their fifth goal of the quarter? Certainly is. Without reply. So, uh, yeah, they've just got a run on. They're just opening the game up, which is uh, the key to the playing this oval. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, Bridgie can uh, do to get back into the game. They've got Roland up forward. I tell you, they um, almost seem stunned here. Bridgie I said they only would have had three forward 50s this quarter too. Yes, they've only had three inside forward and they haven't had a centre clearance. So okay. we go again with uh, Vandenberg up against Schwartz who's still got the bandage on his head. Once again, Vandenberg gets the tap, 
goes to Muirden. Quick handball out to Holm. Kicks the ball out to half forward where Tagler Ferry is on it and Ben Wadley's there as well, but they let the ball run over. Fernhead's there for Bridgie as the, as the scrum basically moves down to the half forward flank now. So, so coming at the 10 minute mark, last quarter, five straight goals over those 10 minutes by the Thunderers. Uh, they trailed by a goal at uh, three quarter time. Now they find themselves four up. Sweeping handball coming out of the hand. Bridgewater have to put the pedal to the middle very quickly now, but that kicks a straight and all it finds is uh, Ironbank defender in Benny Thomas. Been quite serviceable. So I tell you what, he's got a clear big oh. Rollins just as he gets the boy out of Chris Morgan back uh, in defence after his couple of goals. He handballs along the line to Adam Shearwood. Grabs it down level, shoots it back to Morgan. Morgan running through. Good shepherd by Simon Holm. Drives the Thunderers forward to the Sun area. It's a shadow screen. Because it's taking a bell. Big bang. Can I tell you what? Can he turn off a good go? That's a sensational <laughs> goal. They come from everywhere. Look at them. Oh, 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 tell you what, he, he read the ball off the pack like a rover. Oh, I tell you what. that The agility of the pig man there. <laughs> And he, uh, capping a game off, and, capping uh, a game look, off. Great work. They worked the ball. Young uh, Chris Morgan involved. They got the ball forward, and as you said, Dan Vandenberg just off the pack, yeah. grabbed it, and just, uh, well, agility of a bloke half his size to snap. Eddie Betts-like, could we say, uh, Rob, yeah. as he's back. You know, you're having, a, you know you're having a good day when uh, well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nick Vandenberg rows one off the pack. So, so could that, uh, I know it's, uh, it's still 11-minute mark, but could that be the nail? Too far from the comeback now. Uh, the Raiders back in the centre. Schwartz, Vandenberg back in the centre doing, uh, doing it all. Comes out here towards Connor Healy. Flicks the ball. Misses Witt. Willie Muirden chasing it. Gives the old fend off there. Then drives the right, um, forward for the Thunderers. Joel Van Parrott in there. Gathered here by Johnny McDonald. What can he do to lift the Raiders? Oh, the mung kick along the ground. Just sums up the day. The Raiders taken there by Vandenberg. He's in everything and get, puts it forward to Reese Van Parrott. And so... Uh, Nick Vandenberg, not only has he been an influence around the ground in the aerial duels, Rob, he kicks goals, he provides teammates with chances. Boy, what a man. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's definitely made a huge difference to this side today. So, uh, no, he's been sensational. So, so. Uh, Reese Van Perrin and... Uh, normally, play, some... normally plays down back, Jeff. And, uh, All right, well, we've, the... uh, we know what I've said about that this afternoon, Rob. Uh, Morgie's kicked a couple and uh, Ben Thomas. So, let's see... Uh, Reese Van Paradon on his way to the mark now. Strikes the ball towards the Ackland Hill end goal. I'll tell you what, the goal on point doesn't move. And once again, though, just the team spirit here. You can see them there. They're all getting around each other, the Thunderers. And i tell you what, they are on a high. And why shouldn't they be? That is their uh, seventh goal of the quarter. And so we go 20 goals. 12 six. minutes gone. So seven goals in 12 minutes in any grade of football. is a pretty good effort. And 12 inside 50s in 11 minutes. So, uh, and out of that, seven goals. And they're now 20 goals, six. And Bridgewater are stunned. They're 12 Ab- goal, 19. Absolutely. And say they got the, ra- the reigning uh, premiers on the ropes would be an understatement here. They're just looking for that one big knockout punch here. The Thunderers are certainly delivering it pretty well. Plenty of body hits here at the moment. It's up they go. Vandenberg wins a tap down once again. Goes Locked to- up at ground level to uh, teammate there in uh, Adam Sherwood, who climbs up. So once again, umpire rule will set things up again. Up they go. Tap down there by McDonald. Working his way through there. They'll defend off his Will Vandenberg. The Vandenberg boys are everywhere. Sam Witt gets a short little handball. Coming to me, it was Willie Muir. Gets the direction of Elijah Ware. Van Parrott and Joel with the ball. He's racked up in the tackle and goes to ground. So come in at 13 minutes. And, uh, gee, like the boy with the wheelbarrow, the job's certainly in front of the Raiders now as they trail 12-19 to 20 goal six. And you just uh, suggest Einbeck are going to break a three-game losing streak against the Raiders. Now Tommy Watton takes the ball through centre-half forward. Quick kick out to Ben Wadley who dives at it. Uh, Will, F- uh, Will Healy's down there for Bridgie and it's in the forward pocket and the ball goes out of bounds. So once again, quick handball out to the side and they're just running them off their legs and they're yep. getting the ball into the open. So the umpire... Woolly to throw the ball in. And we've got, once again, Wendelborn's there this time. So it goes into a pack. No comes out. Houlihan gets a quick handball to Healy. And Connor Healy going out to Fernhead. And the ball, once again, has gone out of bounds. And when you look at it, Jeff, Bridgie have got all their players behind the ball. They've only got three, four to the centre. Absolutely. So they're just trying to stem the flow at the moment. Swartz the ball down. Connor Healy overruns it, then gets it back to a teammate. He's set upon there. Thunder is just uh, playing with a lot of confidence now. Why shouldn't they? As they lead 26 to 12 at 19, coming up to uh, 13 and a half minutes gone. And uh, as I said, the reigning Premier and all the trouble in the world here. Ball throw in. Swartz in there working hard. Coming out of the Fernet. He's worked hard afternoon. Gets a handball to run. A Benny O'Donnell was good in the first half. The Chender. Chender in turn to Nathan Fitzgerald. Gets a short little chip pass out here. 
in the direction of a cruel bounce there taken by Will Fern. And so uh, Muirhead, um, Muirhead gets it in the cross, turns back, goes back to a uh, good run by uh, Muir. Then the old one turn puts it up and taken by James Watton. And uh, they're dominating the Ford 50 entries this quarter, Rob. Yep. Finger breaking mongrel pump that one was, Jeff, but found Tommy Watton on the chest. So a uh, bit of luck involved there. So, but you make your own luck. So, yeah, Absolutely. once again. Got a terrible bounce to Bridgie, but Will Muir them back on it and then just a long kick into the space. So Tommy Watt yet to kick a goal today. He's kicked uh, six for the season. He still kicked six, but with an additional point. And uh, the first point of this quarter for Iron Bat, you've got to admire their uh, accuracy when you sit down and analyse this game and you can't look at the score 12, 20 goal 7 to 12 goal 19. So what's that? 31 shots, 27. Yep. So Four once goal. again, but for once, it's Iron Bank actually kicking straight. Oh, he's put a barrel on. He's put a yeah, top. Beautiful. And that was uh, that was Craig Evans, I reckon. And the ball's in the centre of the ground. Short uh, Swartz is under it, and uh, Jimmy Muldon getting up off. So once again, the ball to be thrown up, and we've got Nick Vandenberg and. Schwartz there, and once again, Vandenberg gets the ball to Van Paradon out to the runner, Shearwood, who fumbles the ball, gets a quick handball, Reese Van Paradon, and he's top of the goal square. Oh, a bit of action behind the play here. And so that shot from Reese Van Paradon did like the treatment as he uh, got rid of it. Yeah, Sammy so, uh, Witt Sammy Witt in there. So uh, but, uh, Meanwhile, a minor score once again for the uh, Iron Bank Club. We'll move them along to, I think you'll find it's 20 uh, goals, 8. Yeah, scoreboard just catching up. It's 20 goals, 8 to 12 goals, 19. Coming up to 16 minutes gone. Michael Lancaster, long kick towards the Morgan side of the ground as the sun's finally uh, disappearing as the shadows creep in. But uh, the job is certainly pretty dark for the Raiders at the moment as the ball comes back. Will Fernhead, a juggling mark across the half-back line. Waste no time, runs himself into trouble. Meanwhile, umpire Taylor said, oh, well, that's just a call because I thought he played on there, right? Yeah, and, and uh, uh, Tegler Ferry ran across yeah, the Yeah, well, as you would, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the protected areas they call was infringed, so umpire Taylor will advance. Will Fernhead to the cricket pitch area. He's got a lead out here. Looks like uh, Connor Healy takes the mark, swings on the left foot, cricket net flank, sets towards the golf course end goal, and that's the kind of finish oh. that the Raiders have been looking for. No, it's no, not. They hit the post. <laughs> hit the post. So, <laughs> when you're uh, having a bad day, you're having a bad yeah, day. So uh, perhaps good to get one out of the system. But uh, Bridgewater said all before him uh, early in the season, had that loss to Birdwood a couple of weeks ago. And then uh, looks like they're going to go down to Googler again today. And as I said, could uh, forfeit top spot given the result over at uh, Nan Nan taking on Gummeraka. So it's uh, Ben Junior Thomas from the uh, now deep in the shadows golf course end goals. Drives towards the Morgan uh, wing area. Oh, good strong mark in front of the pack by Captain Courageous Willie Muirden. The man who does it at, uh, in all codes, American football and Aussie rules football. Drives it further afield under the ball's young Rosnan. Haven't seen a lot of him today, but uh, takes a mark there. Young fella, so he's uh, plenty of potential, that's for sure. Drives it forward. He's got a lead here down the corridor. Desingo, if he gets there, got his hands to it. Spilled off his big uh, Schwartz. Quick hands out there. Lancaster, he's dispossessed of the ball, goes back and gets it. Oh, heavy body uh, work in there. Tackle on and a high Vandenberg. tackle on Vandenberg. And perhaps a bit unlucky there. Uh, yeah, he ducked his Lancaster, head there. Yes, he did. He ducked his head and his uh, Lancaster was Sometimes pretty a unlucky. And, uh, well, I don't know. But anyway, the benefit of the uh, free kick is certainly Will Vandenberg. And Kenny joined his brother on the goal kicking. The, sorry, he kicked the second goal of the game. My apologies. And there's the uh, Tagler Ferry is running off the oval. Probably is he injured or just a sore foot? Probably lever poisoning. <laughs> I think the trainer's going to treat okay, him for Okay, so we've got Will Vandenberg coming in from 35 metres out. And it's come back. It's has come, come back. back. And, yes, it's another goal to Iron Bank. So 21 goal eight, 12 goal 20 to Bridgie. So it's just been a tote. That was Iron Bank's 15th inside 50 for the quarter. Amazing. And their eighth goal of the quarter said 80 minutes gone, so they've really rampaged this last quarter, whatever the coach Wendelborn said. Uh, well, the season on the line here, as I said, they had the four wins out of the first half of the season. They just needed to uh, drag another win somewhere along to be a serious contender. And I tell you, the way they've played today, they've, they haven't just beaten their reigning premiers. They've actually humbled them, particularly in this last quarter. As we said, eight goals to two, eight good goals two to two points at this stage of the th last quarter. Ball comes down here, still working his butt off his hula, and he's been pretty good for the Raiders. Yeah. Drives it long towards the top of the square. Direction of Searle. Oh, well done by uh, Searle there as he rode it pretty well at the top of uh, O'Sullivan and puts it through for a goal. So, Willie Searle, um, 
be pretty handy today. What's that? He's one, two, three, four, fifth goal. So uh, pretty good effort for him. But uh, that's their first uh, goal. And as I said, nearly 19 minutes into the uh, last quarter. So been a drought for them. But uh, Ironback still well in control and here. Young Daniel Wells has gone into the ruck, just giving Nick Vandenberg yeah. a... So Schwartz won the tap there. And once again, Bridgie, the team that got the ball out, got the goal. So we'll see what happens this time as uh, Mickey Taylor comes in, throws the ball up. Wells goes against Schwartz, gets a tap. Sheward gets the ball for Ironbank. Quick handball out to Tommy Watton on the wing. Kicks forward and Nick Vandenberg's gone up front for a rest. Come, <laughs> ball comes to Rosman. Quick handball to Nick Vandenberg. The ball goes up. 35 metres. Whip, yeah, chopped. Chopped, chopped, in the arm, chopped yep. on the head. So Sammy Wick grabs the ball at full back for Bridgie, looking at his options, and he kicks the uh, a torp. He does a barrel into the centre of the ground, comes to Simon Holm, contested ball, quick kick forward for Ironbank, big fist, and comes to Ben Lott Wadley, who handballs over to Reese Van Paradon. Quick ball, handball back out to Nick Vandenberg, handball to Holm. And they dive on top, and I think it's uh, going to be a ball up in the right-hand forward pocket for Ironbank. And once again, they're just throwing the ball around. Absolutely. Quick as, as the ball goes up. Taylor. Absolutely. They're certainly playing out the game here. The Ironbank comes that's for sure. As the ball comes out here, the run of uh, Witt. Sam Witt's got a assistant out there. Gives it to them. A teammate drives it long to open forward line. Searle versus O'Sullivan. Oh, I bet about this time for O'Sullivan. The dashing defender handballs off to Will Vandenberg in turn. Gets it to, oh, misses the target. And Sheerwood, he's good enough to get it for, for the Van Paradon, who in turn gets it back to Vandenberg. They're running in a bit of trouble here. Intercepted here by Muir. Perhaps one handball too much there. Robbie Sheerwood, as it comes out here to Hulhan, he turns inside. He's got a lead here. He's got a player on his own. Puts it in a direction. It was uh, Maxi. Wakefield, but uh, good work there by Junior Thomas. Release the pressure. Oh, big leap over the top by Hulhan. Destroys the attempted mark there. A Vandenberg comes down. Adam Sherwood. Oh, spins nicely out of trouble. Oh, uh, goes Pet to Beard. Centimeter perfect. Gives it to Beard. Beard drives forward. He's got a lead here. The scene goes, stretches the hamstrings. And good possession play and good transition there. Start off the halfback flank. And great shimmy work there by Adam Sherwood. Turned his opponent inside. And then uh, great delivery to uh, Desingo. Okay, we've got Daniel Desengo is probably at the 40 metre mark in the right hand on the right hand flank, kicking to the Ackland Hill or Stewie King Wells end of the ground. Kick one early this quarter, uh, Rob, so we know where the uh, sticks are. And this will be Iron Bank's 22nd goal of the game if he can get it. So he lines up and he as he runs in, uh, Lancaster on the mark, kicks it. It's floating and. No, it's just missed. It's off to the right. So we have the score is as they've just taken the points off. I think it's Iron Bank a 21 goal nine, yep. Bridgie a 13 20. And we're at the 21 minute mark of the final term as we're just waiting for the ball to come back into play. So, and uh, I think it's Craig Evans with the ball. Yeah, Craig Evans to bring it back in that big left foot. He tried to attempt the barrel, this one falls short. Bounces another 30 metres along. Intercepted here by Houlihan. Shapes to give the ball up. Decides to go with foot towards Willie Searle. Over the back of the pack. O'Sullivan was waiting for it. Willie Searle just grabs the ball and strolls in <laughs> for the easiest of goals on that occasion. But uh, very unlucky again, Sullivan. <laughs> the yeah. Of the ball. But Willie Searle, his second goal of the uh, term, which is also Bridgewater's second goal. But uh, well in arrears at this stage, the Raiders, as they move along to 14-20, and Iron Bank, a commanding 21 goal nine. So, uh, efficient ball use, certainly by the Raiders. And as Rob Shearwood has joined us this afternoon on the call, the Wild has said uh, you win the boy in the centre, you invariably win, the, uh, win in front of the goal front. But Iron Bank's effective in front of goal, certainly been uh, very vital this afternoon. Back they go, Vandenberg back in the ruck. Uh, ball comes Reece. down there, locked up to Rexy Jordan. Good tackle there by Will Vandenberg. So the Vandenberg boys just lead by example here in the dying stages. It said 21, nearly 22 minutes gone. I'm being in charge, 21-9 to 14-20. And it's uh, Bridgie coming out and they're kicking the ball out and it goes out of play on the full. Did it come off full? No, yep, no it's a throw no. in and we're, uh, we're basically on the half-forward flank for Bridgie heading down towards the golf course end. In front of the club rooms, as we've got Vandenberg back in the ruck with Rollins. Ball goes up, and once again, Vandenberg gets a tap, comes to quick kick out of the pack for Bridgie, and it's Healy, ended yep. up with young Will, Will Healy. Healy. And he's going to have a shot on goal, probably from 20 metres out straight in front. So it was a, a quick kick out of the pack. Um, and we're at the 
23-minute mark yep. of the quarter, and Will Healy kicks it straight over the umpire's head, and he brings them yet a goal quick closer. So uh, 21 goal nine, and Bridgie now move on to 15 goal 20. So. Full time, uh, full time score from the Howard Lane at Mount Barker. The Barkaroos sixteen at fifteen have defeated Lonka Valley at ten at goal three. So a pretty important win there to uh, Mount Barker in the context of their finals uh, aspirations. And Lonka Valley perhaps just falling back into the pack at this stage of the season. Uh, uh, Mickey Taylor's got the ball in the centre of of the ground. Wendell Bourne's back in there. Nick Vandenberg's back there. Schwartz is there for Bridgie. Vandenberg gets the tap. Goes out to Tommy Watton. No. Uh, Bridgie get the ball out on the far wing there. I think it was Hayden Smith had the ball there. Comes across. Will Van Paraden has it. Gets to Will Muirden. Quick handball back to Joel Van Paraden. The Muirden back to Morgan. Morgan. A beautiful Long kick into kick. the forward pocket looking for Desengo. Comes in young Rosman's there. No. Lancaster gets it. Running through half back now, we've got Josh Fielding kicking the ball long, looking for oh. Willie Sell, but it was a great fist by Jack Beard. Ball goes back up the other end as quick as you like. Geez, they're moving the ball well today. It goes out to the running Wendell Bourne, who finds young Daniel Wells. Quick handball out to young Rosman, who runs around, kicks to the top of the square. And, and uh, that man, Nick Vandenberg. No, uh, yeah, no, Will, Will Vandenberg. Will Vandenberg. And uh, oh, are they going to call it out of... No, well, they paid the mark. Well, the so. umpire was well caught behind the play, so it was left to the goal one point. And yep. uh, that all started with a great spot in here by uh, Jack Fear the Beard. Yep, and Will Vandenberg, check side punt, <laughs> and <laughs> you know what? I He's tell, kicked it. It's party time <laughs> down here at Iron Beak. Uh, Thunder you... Park. Will <laughs> Vandenberg, his second consecutive goal for the uh, Thunderers, and they just go from strength to strength. Uh, Rob, they won't want this game to finish as they move on to 22 9. As the conditions are getting a bit dull out here, 22 9 to 15 goal 20. So, yes, emphatic performance here by the Thunderers. <laughs> We saw him against Nan, the yeah. other sort of favourite contender. But uh, yeah. the ball goes up. We've got Vandenberg and Schwartz in the ruck again. Vandenberg gets it to Van Paraden. Quick kick out of the middle, heading out to the right hand half forward flank, looking for young Daniel Wells. But it's uh, Fitzgerald, I think, took the mark there. He and had, kick. He end off to Benny O'Donnell, who drove the ball forward. <coughs> Getting back here is uh, Benny Thomas to send the ball back from whence it came. Quick transition, uh, leading the race for the ball is Rexy Jordan here for the Raiders. Grabs the ball, gets on that left foot, goes out wide to Morgan Wing, looking for Big Rollins. Oh, I spilt what he should have taken, the big fella. Comes to the ground, he's got assistant at ground level from Connor Healy, spins onto that left foot of his, puts it forward to Maxie Wakefield, who takes a mark uncontested, just around from the scoreboard, which is a bit of a sad reading at the moment if you're a Raiders fan. 15-20, trailing Iron Bank 22-9. He elects to go in board and finds Will Fern here to take a good mark despite the late challenge of uh, young Tommy. Will Fern here to find the show and see him do so. I'm going to pick the Iron Bank score. Both in from 22 9. And Fernhead here to have a shot. Uh, it's pulled wide, so they will finish on 15 goal at 21. So, uh, comprehensive victory here. In the Rob. end, in the end, they just, uh, they just, yeah, overran him. It was as simple as that. I mean, 19 inside 50s in the last quarter to we had seven from Bridgewater. So, uh, centre clearances as well. Iron Bank well on top. Um, getting six and only one to Bridgie in the last quarter. So, um, yeah, for once Iron Bank were on the right end of the of the scale with um, uh, the goal kicking. All right, what we might do is just uh, head back uh, to the studio for a few sponsorship announcements from those uh, very valuable people who support us here in the core of the wild this season. And we'll get all the stats that matter on what's been a magnificent day if you're an Iron Bank Thunderer. If you're a Raider, it's been a long afternoon, that's for sure. You're on Hills Radio, 88.9 FM, Call of the Wild. We're ready when you are, Jeffrey. All right, we'll just look at that red light now. Yeah, so I can go back for the air. Yeah. All right, great game of footy here today. It's some outstanding effort. There's none better than this guy, Nick Vandenbrink from, uh, sorry. Vandenberg. Vandenberg, sorry. Oh, good. Outstanding game of footy here today, Div 2 footy. Harndorf. What am I fucking talking about? <laughs> as soon as you take the camera <laughs> 
Outstanding game of Hills League at Division 2 football here today and one of the great performers on the ground is Nick Vandenberg from the Ironback Football Club. Welcome aboard. Thank you. And I believe only your second game for the season back here with the Thunderers. Yeah, second game back. Been uh, working down at Keith, so playing a bit down there, but was back in town, so great to be a part of it. And certainly they went into the game, the Thunder is short of big man strength, and you certainly made up for that. You virtually rucked unchanged all day, mate. Yeah, I struggled a bit at the end there, was was pretty sore, but uh, it's really good to see a lot of the boys get around it and been a, a great effort from the whole team. And a magnificent passage of play where you actually rode the ball up here like a guy half your size, looked like an Eddie Betstike and hooked that guy at the Wells uh, Akron Hill end goal, mate. That'd be uh, one for the highlights reel. Uh, look, I was, I was pretty lucky, was pretty happy about it. My brother kicked a pretty good one not long after, so he let me know well, about it. I think both of you were in, uh, well within the goal kicking uh, today, multiple goal kickers for the Vandenberg boys. No, it was great. It was, to, to get a win today against very quality opposition was really good. Well, as I said, a great performance, not only in the ruck, but around the ground, also bringing your teammates into play and then going forward and kicking particularly one of the best goals of the season, I'd suggest, on footy. Hills footy flicks, we might see that a bit later on. But on behalf of Cheapest Chips, Dutton's Mount Barker and Sports Power Mount Barker, you're our uh, most valuable player for the day. So uh, to you, Nick. Thank you very much, Well Jeff. done, and all the best for the rest of the season. Thanks very much. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Now, if you just want to... Yeah, undo all that. No, great effort. That's a wrap. What a day. What a film. Fantastic.